Good morning. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Happy holidays. Happy Hanukkah. And Merry Christmas, everybody. Yes. We're glad that you're with us. I am Expo Dave, and we have the one and only Miss Vicki Ville over here. And then in our wings over here, we have Scrappy Boy Sean, making sure that everything is running smooth today. So we're glad that you're joining us for another shop at home event as we get close to the big days, you know, and everything. I love shopping days. Yes, I know, I know. <laughs> and everybody, look, doesn't Vicky's outfit, I'll tell you, if that doesn't say Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, look so how cute. darling this is. And Dave, I know this is so irritating, I, but. No, but look how <laughs> cute. It even. It's, it's an outfit plus. Did it light up? Wait. Uh-oh. Is it broken? We have a oh, there she goes. Isn't it that even darling, like everybody? <laughs> oh my gosh! I know. I'm, uh, I'm a dork. I'm sorry. Well, now you I know, just love Christmas. She does, and she always looks so up. Well, you know, she tried to one up me today, but Vicky Bill, you know, you have some blinking lights. So by golly, I'm gonna have some blinking lights. So <laughs> I love it. Yay! So there we go. <laughs> Anyway. Sean's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm leaving. You look oh. great. I love it. <laughs> no, anyway. That's we, awesome. We are so glad you're here. And boy, we have some great uh, uh, presentations and vendors and shopping today. Yeah. And uh, But a couple of things. Um, we do, uh, we know that some of you watch us on Facebook and some of you watch us on YouTube. Yes. Yeah. So we would love for you to join our YouTube channel. So all that you need to do is go to the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo YouTube channel and make sure you subscribe. And then down here in the corner, there's a little bell and you'll want to click on that. Right, Vickyville? Yes, <laughs> click. And that way you will get notified of all of our great events. We have our shop at home. So we have things going on during the week. Yep. All kinds of things still coming up this month. Yep. So. Uh, make sure you do that. And then also, uh, we send out a weekly newsletter with all the information on it. So you'll want to go to the craftathomeevents.com and sign up for our newsletter and you'll get all the doings for the week. So exactly. And right. it's so nice because I even look at it myself to get kind of fun <laughs> things yeah. that are coming on. And it's really easy to navigate. Yeah. Our, our people that work on that is just makes it so easy. There's a calendar. Yes. And you just click on the event. And then it everything comes up for that day. And the presenters, the show specials, everything. It's really easy yes. to find and, and work through and yeah. get that information. So it's I, yeah, and you know it's good because we have to go look at it. Because yeah, we it's do. Like <laughs> Saturday, what time are we doing yeah. this? Or, like, or, or you know, like during our week, our, uh, uh, during the week, our Tuesday and Thursday events when we have those are those little we special like events. See, so yes. yeah. Yesterday, Dave was not in the office, and and I and we usually talk about t like our next day events, yeah. and I'm like, oh my goodness, how am I going to find out what time <laughs> I need to be there? And then I'm like, oh, I can go to the. Go Here's to the newsletter, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I'm saying it was really easy. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> yes, and sometimes and sometimes we're here on Saturday and some on Sunday. Yes. So, um, and I uh, also want to mention that um, during our shop at home event today, uh, myself, Expo Dave, Vickyville, and Scrappy Boy, we are live, but all of our presentations they are videotaped. And that is so the presenters and vendors, as they're doing their presentations or presenting what they have to sell, you guys at home can type in questions, ask them questions, ask them, hey, do you have this? How do, hey, do you have that? So want to make it as convenient, and they want to be available for you as well. So exactly. because you know we we have questions sometimes. You know oh, yeah. when we're watching like to how find much out. is that and. When can I get it? <laughs> yes. Especially Sean. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we're so jealous. <laughs> yeah. Well. You get to do a lot of shopping while we're here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we're I'm here. He's like, over there shopping. shopping. That's rad. <laughs> but, uh, but, no, it's, uh, it's a lot of a lot of fun and uh, to, to interact with you know the vendors that and because some of you you may know or have seen at the shows and uh, we always have um, new guests you know if you're new new today we want to welcome you welcome. and have some fun and you get found your people yes yes oh my gosh you know, yes. yes we are a crafty bunch of our crafty group fun yes loving yes. rad people and, and you know talking I was thinking about this um, uh, yesterday and then on the way in here today is I remember gosh a year ago on Facebook to where 
you would go on and everybody was posting like what they had for dinner, what they had for breakfast. I don't see that as much now. I see all these great cards and projects and yeah. pages and products that people are doing. Right. So, um, so that tells you right there that crafting certainly does hold Have a you big been working on anything I at home? I, I did. I actually was working on some Christmas cards. I, I made some Christmas cards for my card swap that I'm in in Jersey and then I started yesterday putting the parts and pieces because I'm doing a slimline card for my Christmas. So Ooh. I got some things cut out. I've been doing some, and I still use my diet, my, uh, I actually use my spell binders, cutting that out and doing the embossing and everything. So, yes, so, uh, that's cool. Yes. I'm I, working on my little art impression. Oh, yeah. I had bought um, some of the, I know you did these two, the gift card holders. So yes. I actually did that. I did, I also, I don't know, Sean, have you, made your chocolate tour um not yet i, I know me time. too i keep looking <laughs> at it and i'm like i need to put that together that beautiful sign yeah it's a beautiful sign i have a card swap that i'm also i have to make five cards tomorrow oh, yeah. and send them out <laughs> so it's like i right know here. there's something that it ha does december go as fast for you it all as it does for me because i felt like a week ago i had all this time and yes there's <laughs> They're supposed to be mailed out on Monday. <laughs> well, you know, it, it's funny because you do you think Thanksgiving and then, oh, Christmas is, but boy, look, it goes the like accelerator that. has been uh, hit because we are right. in full swing, you know, just a couple Have weeks. Have you finished doing all your... No, my shopping. Yeah, shopping. No, though. no, no. I, I'm procrastinating a little bit. I know. So. I think I have a few left, I, especially for my husband. I don't know what to get him. Yeah. I mean, what do men need? It's, uh, I, 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 I keep know. asking him, and he's like, I just need boxers and <laughs> socks. I'm like, hey, really? Yeah. Hey, you know what? I can always use socks. That's for sure. And a t-shirt. <laughs> he wants white t-shirts, boxers, and socks. And that's what he, hey, hey, you might as well get people what they need for that's sure. That's true. So. That's true. And I have to tell you that I was so impressed. I, um, I, my 11-year-old granddaughter, Simona, she called me the other day on Grandma's phone, and she and one of her friends have started a um, a basket business to where they have like That's different cute. baskets, and they literally and I I am not technical at all as most or uh, most of you know. She and another 11 year old girl created a website. They are selling baskets online. What and kind they, of baskets? They like they have a bookworm basket. They have a birthday. They have a chocolate. Oh, they have a fruit basket. So, so they they have a basket and yeah. then they put all the little goodies yeah. inside. Yeah. How fun so, is so, that? Yeah. So very um, entrepreneurial. Yeah, and for 11 years old, I mean. You know, I don't, even, I don't even know what HTML or whatever it is stands for, so that tells you right there. But I was so excited. So, you know. How fun. Yeah, so they're getting getting into in, into creating, so wow. even though it's baskets. So. That's awesome. So I was very impressed. So I need to find out from Mom and Dad um, if I can post the link to the site on my Instagram, so, yeah. um, which is Expo Dave. Um, so uh, check that out. So, but I want to make sure um, on that. So, but boy, talk about shopping. We have some great presenters I today, know. and I great presenters, great projects, great shopping, and great specials from each of them too. Exactly. So, I can't wait to see. Yes. Although. It's <laughs> very terrifying. <laughs> I need something from everybody. Yeah, I know, and and the thing is, you know, the specials are so good, and and boy, you know, you will wanna. I mean, this is probably gonna be the prime prime weekend to get shopping to make sure that you get all your goodies right, because right, um, you know they were showing on the news how many just how many more packages are being shipped and, and we have we have a really great UPS man I'll I tell know. you He's, he takes really good care of us stops by best. picks up our packages make sure if we need them so yeah we hope you guys are as uh, we like to call him Tony 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 yeah his name is Tony but we, we got Tony yeah. Tony 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 <laughs> He's, he's awesome. Yes. So have a good relationship with your UPS man, and he'll take really good care of your packages. Yes, so. exactly. Yes. So, um, gosh, Vicki, um, everybody, I hope that you have that special maybe drink ready. We hope you have your credit cards ready. <laughs> we hope you have, you know, being get ready to take some notes um, on these uh, presentations coming up. So, And the first one is, darling, 
Um, Riley and Company. Oh, I love She Riley. always does a great job, and we know you're going to enjoy it. I can't it. wait for her snarky. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so get snarky, and we'll be back after... Hi everyone, it's Tanya with Riley and Company. I hope your holiday season is going well for you. And welcome to our little shop at home get together today. I've got a lot of really fun stuff to show you and a really, really fun demo. So let's get right to it. Let me get you switched around, okay? This is always the scariest part of the video because you just never know. There we go. And I have you. All right. So for those of you that do not know Riley and Company, I'll give you a brief introduction. Riley and Company is home of about 320 different Riley stamps. They have everything from snow globes to birthdays to uh, policemen and all kinds of fun stuff. There's about 300 of those. Riley is also the home of the Funny Bones. And there are about 820 very snarky, very fun sayings to go on your cards and your scrapbooks. We are also the home of Mushroom Lane. For those of you that don't know, it's our little town of mushroom houses. And we just started coming out with dyes that make the Mushroom Lane 3D and pop up. So there is our Mushroom Lane. It's got some dyes. We have three large gnomes and three little gnomes that you can also purchase as well. And Riley is also home of Dress Up Riley. And this is what they look like, the packaging. They're clear stamps with matching dies. But I put together something fun, and I wanted to show you tonight what I did. This is, I'm trying to make it so to where, um, I can't think of the word that I, that I want to come up with to make shows happen next year, to put some good juju on shows. So I started working on my booth. <laughs> and these are some displays for the booth for Dress Up. So Dress Up Riley is basically like paper dolls. Okay, You start with a set of two Riley the Moose, or we have two cows in the same positions, two cows, two moose, and they're naked. Okay. It's okay, because moose run around without clothes on all the time. So do cows. It's no big deal. But there's about 25 sets that you can dress these up with. Our dress-up winter sets has little shirts and boots and hats and snowballs and cocoa. Our dress-up Valentine sets has all these accessories for St. Patrick's Day and Valentine's. We even have a dress-up sports set. He's got his little floaty, and he has a baseball and a soccer ball and a volleyball. We have a dress-up summer fun set. They are so much fun. Kids and adults love these. I saw some uh, teachers one time do the base parts with magnets and then put the paper on magnets and they could take them apart and put them back together and take them apart and put them back together. This is Dress Up Riley Christmas and this is Bert the Cat. This is our first Halloween set. And one of my very favorites, the fall set, it has a big corn stalk with it that makes up what the, the scarecrow is standing in, I'm sorry. Then, Took me a while to do these, so I just thought I would share them with you today. And then we'll get to our awesome, 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 awesome project. This is our Dress Up Winter 2 set. Snowboarding. Here's our Dress Up Birthday set. We're going to be using the balloons out of this tonight. I think it's hilarious. You can make a clown. Lots of clown. There's cakes. And this is Sophie's Accessories. 
So everything that will turn Riley into Sophie or our cow into Bessie. We have a dress up camping set that comes complete with this camper. And then the clothes and the fire pits and the s'mores and all good stuff. We have a dress up professional sets. We have a fireman, a policeman. We have a construction worker. I believe there's also a briefcase with it and possibly a chef. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure there is. Riley even has his own motorcycle in a dress up sets. This is hilarious. One notes, if you put his chaps on him, make sure you color his underneath blue to look like blue jeans because it doesn't quite look right without it. Dress up farmer sets. He has his own tractor. Is that hilarious? And his own chickens. Here's our dress up spring shower sets. We also have our dress up North Pole sets and you will see this a little later. It looks like a gingerbread set. It's really lovely. I love this set. And all of these, of course, have matching dyes as well. He has a dress-up fishing set. <laughs> he actually has a little love bus set with flowers and shirts. This is such a great little set and perfect for what we're doing tonight. We have dress-up Halloween 2. Here's our dress-up party set, and this is Tucker the dog. And it comes with all these cocktails and even a lampshade in case you want to get really crazy. We have our dress up beach sets. Complete with palm trees. You'll see that in a little while. And our dress up under the sea. I absolutely love this. This is the cutest little card with a little seal in the little house. And our gingerbread house which I just adore. And for those of you that do the Megas, this was um, our Mega Make and Take on December 2nd. It's an amazing set and super easy to use. So with that said, I am going to um, show you one last thing that we have that you can get, um, that we will ship out as soon as humanly possible if you order it today. So you can have it um, before Christmas. But this is our gingerbread house kit. And we are going to do this like we did on the Mega. Our special is spend $75 and we will send you one of these free. You can also purchase them, okay? They come with 71 pieces, 71 pieces. To decorate your own gingerbread house now these are made out of wood if you can hear that they're made out of wood you can leave them plain and just spray them and use them as an ornament or you can color them in I use Posca pins to color mine in that's what these are and you can find them online or your local store check your local store first otherwise you can just leave them as they are all right this is the sale special today $75 will get you one of these free okay so we're gonna set that aside and oh, let me show you what the packaging looks like on it oopsie so it'll come in this little gingerbread house kit with all the little pieces parts and I do have a video out on our YouTube channel that will show you how to put it together so we'll set that aside so I don't forget to remind you before we go but I thought I would take um, a little time tonight and go over something a little different, not a card. And the reason is, is that I have a couple of my friends that are kind of, they've been at home for so long, they're kind of in a ho-hum mode. They can't find their mojo and they, they don't really want to make cards because they can't get the creativity flowing. So this little project solves a couple of things. These are envelopes, okay? Here's an envelope for your slim lines. These are envelopes for your four by sixes and even envelopes for your six by sixes. I'm using the dress up set tonight and focusing on it simply because they make wonderful, wonderful, wonderful envelopes. Now, if you get in kind of a funk and you can't really create a card, do some envelopes. 
They're super simple. You don't have to think about it. You know, maybe you'll get creativity from your envelope to do a card to match it. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to show you how very, very, very simple it is. You don't need my post-it note for a card I'm going to make, right? But this one was done using our Riley. This one was done using the summer set that I showed you earlier. I will never be able to find it again, even if I try, but this had the palm tree in it. This was the, the North Pole house, the Santa's workshop that I turned into a gingerbread house. This, of course, is made to look underwater. And you can go as detailed on these as you want or super simple to get you, to just let you color, to be a little bit creative without having to think of something extremely detailed. Like this, for example. If I wanted to put a North Pole card in here, having a North Pole envelope would be really awesome. Pardon me. I had to get a little bit of water. So, they're really super easy. These were just stamped with the sets. Very simple. This was stamped, and the way that I get these pieces right here, if you guys can see these, the way that I get those pieces is I just pick, and I gotta find it. I just take any die that I have that's a, a big enough size that's a shape, and you can use any shape, oval, rectangle, square, hearts. It doesn't matter what it is because just as long as it leaves you a space to write the address, that's fine. And this is mine. It's just part of our word set dies, okay, in the rectangle series. And I just cut that off. On this one, I happen to flip it over and use the square series instead. So I just cut a few shapes before I get started and then I take off. So what we're going to do tonight, I'm gonna to show you a little bit. We're gonna start with a blank card and I'm going to use the balloons out of the birthday dress up set for Riley, okay? So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna stamp a couple images. I'm gonna use Copic markers. So I'm gonna stamp my images with Memento ink. So I think I'll put one there. And I'll put another one there. Okay, now I'm going to want one up here too, but it, it's going to look silly. So I'm just going to cover this little spot up right here. Okay, and then I'm going to ink up again. And I'm just going to stamp on top of it. Okay, super easy. Now we're just going to take a black pen and we are going to go around this. Any black pen will work. Marker, that'd be great, whatever. And you're only going to come to where that line was. All right, you can lift it up and see, but we want to make sure those look like they're going over that line. So we're going to come around and stop this line and then keep going. And that's what you have. It masks off your little place for you. Now, all we're going to do is take some Copic markers. I use Memento ink, which is really fantastic for Copic markers. It won't bleed on you. And all I'm going to do, and this is going to be one of those super quick ones that, that if you're losing your, your creativity, you're just going to sit and color for a while. Okay. So we're just going to take this one. Sometimes coloring just helps a little bit to get me, to get me back in the mood because oftentimes I'll just come into the studio and I'll look around and I, and it's like I'm in a movie dazed and confused because I can't figure out anything to do. So I just sit down and color because who would not love getting a card in this envelope? And think about your mailman. <laughs> At least you'd give your mailman a smile too. All right, so make sure you do your little, your little attachments. And I went outside the lines and you know what? It's okay. 
it's an envelope. So now I'm just going to come up and I'm going to use a really bright pink. And I'm going to do this one. We're going to do this one on that. And let's do this one here. And then finally, we're just going to take our yellow and color it in. Now, this would be cute enough. If you run out of time, this hasn't taken any time at all. You can use any balloons that you have. All right. Now, on top of this, if you wanted to get more detailed and find that your creativity is coming back, you can get all kinds of fun with this. You can grab some more markers. You can shade. You can grab your white pen. You can add some white spots. You can stamp little hearts in the background, or you could even use these balloons and make a card if you wanted to. That is literally all there is to it, except we're going to add one more step. Now, you can send it like this if you want, but what I've done since I would put a birthday card in this, right, is I have taken some of our Catherine Pooler Lime Ricky. I love that color. And what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to get my mat out and I'll tell you why. This is a non-stick mat and I learned a long time ago from Tim Holtz, the master himself, that using a mat to bring ink in off of, you will constantly go back out and grab that ink again and bring it in. And it's a nice smooth space for your sponge to move on to instead of a piece of paper, which is harder. So this is a Tim Holtz sponge holder. Mm, don't know exactly what they're called, but I'm sure somebody watching this will. So I'm just going to ink it up real good. And I'm going to start on the outside. If you start on the inside, you're going to leave a line. So start on the outside and just start making circles. And we're just going to turn around. I think what I need to do here, hang on a second. This is the same size. It's not what we were using, but it's the same size. So I may, I want to make sure I don't get in this white spot. And this pad is very, very juicy. Very juicy. Okay. We're just going to turn it. And again, I'm starting off the pad. I make sure not to get my balloons. And it's pulling in all the ink that I already have on this pad. Okay, I'm going to slide that down because I don't want this little piece right there. Then I'm just going to go back around and kind of darken up my edges, pulling from out to in. Okay, one of the best tricks. And there you have it. Who would not love to get this with their birthday card inside? Isn't that fantastic? What postman would not love to send this or to or deliver this, I guess I should say, to someone else? You could even take a white pen. I'll take my Posca. And you can go along and you can just make little light marks. Right? How fun is that? And that's all there is to it. And sometimes when I don't have any creativity or I need to get a boost, I just grab a handful of envelopes and just start playing. And it's a lot of fun. Once again, we'll go back through and I will show you. This is, for those of you wanting to know, this is Riley in the airplane. This one is the North Pole dress up set. That is at the beach dress up set. Again, the North Pole dress up set. And scuba diving Riley and our underwater sets. Now, one quick thing. Make sure if you want to go shopping that you hit our website at www.rileyandcompanyonline.com. And our special, once again, is this gorgeous gingerbread house ornament set. 
all you have to do to get one free is spend $75. And not only will you get this free at $75, you get free shipping too. So it's like a double bonus. And you can also order these singularly as well. Again, if you order them today, this weekend, early on, we will try our very, very best to get them out ASAP so that you have them in time to make them and hang them on your tree. Thank you very much, folks. If I don't see you before Christmas, have a wonderful, wonderful holiday. This is Michelle with Pink and Maine. Thanks for joining us and I hope you enjoy the creations that we're going to make. We're going to be making thank you cards today. We have two brand new dies. These are called our sunburst dies. We have the sunburst cover. So this is an A2 size cover die. So it's four and a quarter by five and a half. And it cuts out a circle in the center and all these pieces around it, kind of like a sunburst. And it's got some stitched edging in here that creates really nice look and we're going to have fun with this. We also have the sunburst die in a slim line. So it is eight and a half by three and a half and it's the same size circle in the center with those sunburst patterns going around it. I'm excited about this stamp set. This is called Spotlight Sayings One and these sentiments which are all very useful for lots of different occasions. Now these sentiments fit perfectly within the circle of our sunburst dies, both the slimline and the A2 cover size. So the circle that cuts out in the middle here is one and three quarter inches. So these sentiments on the stamp set fit perfectly in that one and, one and three quarter inch circle. So they're gonna fit in a two inch circle, anywhere around that size, they're gonna fit perfectly. And for the first two cards we're making, we're gonna use a couple of our current uh, paper pads that we've had for just a little bit. We're using Enchanted Garden and Pastel Dreams. For our first card, we're gonna use the A2 size four and a quarter by five and a half sunburst cover die. So I have my four and a quarter by five and a half card and I've already cut out with the sunburst die, I cut it out of a pattern sheet from the Enchanted Garden paper pad and I cut it out of this really pretty metallic card stock that I had in my stash. And then I also cut it out of white because here I have the circle and I stamped from that spotlight sayings, I stamped the many, many thanks. So we're gonna use that in the center. And because I've cut it out of both the patterned paper and the metallic, I can mix and match these colors. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue down the sunburst cover die. I'm using a liquid adhesive with a nice fine tip so that I can just add a little bit of glue around this intricate die around the edges. And then I'm just gonna lay some glue down in several of these spots where I'm gonna just piece together like a puzzle and put my card together. Oh, and there we have, so pretty with that metallic paper. There we have most of the card done. Now we're just going to put the sentiment in the center here. Oh, 
and I want to add a, just a little bit more embellishment to the card. So I'm going to take some of our silver glossy hearts and I'm just going to add a few of those on the card. And there we have our finished card. And I wanted to show you the second card that I created with the same die cut. So see you get two similar, but a little bit different look. For our next thank you card, we're going to make a slimline card. So I have a card base here that when folded is eight and a half by three and a half inches long. Okay. And our die, our sunburst for the slimline die, it cuts out eight and a half by three and a half inches. So you can see this fun die. And I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that to the card base. I just cut it in white and I'm putting it on a white card base. So now we have our die cut adhered to our white card base. It looks really cool, just white on white. But we're going to put the puzzle pieces, as I call them, together again. And I cut, I stamped that same many, many thanks for the center because we're, th we're making thank you cards. So let's go ahead and put that in the center. There we have our sentiment. And now let's, let's put all the pieces in the card. So I cut out from the Pastel Dreams paper pad, uh, probably six or seven uh, different sheets. So if you, I just ran half of the, a good half of the die through whatever would cut on that six by six piece of paper. I just ran it through and, and it'll fit this side as well as this side. They're opposites and they're symmetrical. So. Um, I was able to cut and, and fill the entire card around. So we'll just go ahead like we did before, put some glue down, and we'll start to put those pieces in. And here is our slimline thank you card using that slimline sunburst die. It looks like a cute little patchwork quilt. It's so cheerful and colorful. I just love it. Once again, I'm gonna add just some of these little silver glossy hearts. They add just the right amount a little touch of sparkle and shine along with a little sweetness. Five or six different pattern papers like this, you can create five or six different cards just the same or you can mix them up. They're going to look a little different. All the pieces will fit in different spots. But look how cute and how, I mean, they're pretty easy to put together. So there's a couple more thank you cards. For our next group of thank you cards, we're gonna do use some different products. This is not a new product, but it's a nice little handy die to have on hand when you need to make thank you cards. It's our thanks die. So it cuts out in this really nice script font, the words thanks. And then it also comes with the shadow feature. So you can use it with or without it, but sometimes it's nice to have a little backing behind your word, just to make it stand off or stand out from your project. So that's our thanks die. We're gonna use that. We're also gonna use our brand new plaid slimline die. I love plaid, I love polka dots, I love stripes. And this plaid, I simply love. It cuts out an eight and a half by three and a half panel. We're also gonna be using the thanks out of our Slimline Sayings stamp set. This is a new set, stamp set for us, and it's another nice sentiment set. They're in this really pretty font. They're perfect for Slimline cards because this happy birthday, you see how long it is? It's almost six inches long. This is a six by six inch stamp set. 
but you don't have to use it on a slimline card. You can always stamp the happy and then stamp the birthday below it. Yeah. I'm also really excited that we are coming out with our own embossing folders. So our embossing folders are six by six. So that's a nice size you can use for square cards. Um, you can use them in your scrapbooking and other paper crafting projects, but they also fit um, A2 size cards, either horizontally or vertically, however you'd like to put it in there. And these are uh, repeating patterns, so you can also use them for your slimline cards. You just do one portion and then put the other side of the card in and do the rest of it. So these are super fun. We've printed the pattern in pink on the front, so you can see just at a glance what your folder is going to emboss. And they give, you'll see in the cards that we're gonna create, they give really nice, deep embossing impressions. So it's gonna give you some really nice dimension and, and pattern to your cards. And the other new product that we're gonna use on our next set of cards is the Tall Flowers stamp set. So this is a large six by eight stamp set. It's got three different groupings of really pretty bold flowers. It has a small script word, hello and thanks. But these are really easy to color in because they're so bold and they're almost six inches tall. So they work really well for your slimline cards, but they also will work in other size cards as well. And you'll see that in just a little bit. For our first card using the tall flowers, we're making an A2 size card. So it's four and a quarter by five and a half. I just have a regular folded card there. I've taken a piece of green cardstock and I've run it through my die cut machine with our houndstooth embossing folder. So I hope this picks up on the video, that really pretty houndstooth pattern that it embosses on the paper. It just adds a really nice, it's a subtle background, but it adds dimension and it just looks really nice on the cards. So let's adhere this piece down to our card front. So the card is four and a quarter by five and a half, and I've cut this green panel at four inches by five and a quarter. So you have a nice little white border around it. And I've used our layering rectangle dies to cut that panel, and then I embossed it. Next, we're gonna add some corner elements to the card just to give that pop of color. And these corner pieces are part of our beautiful slimline die set. I'm using the smaller corner piece out of that die set. There's also a larger one. So you get two different sizes that you could use. And I'm just gonna glue these down in the four corners. There, I love the finished look. So here I have die cut one of the flower groupings from the Tall Flowers stamp set. I colored it with the Copic alcohol marker, so you can color them with other, whatever coloring media you like to use. And then I use the coordinating, we have coordinating dies for the set. So I use the coordinating dies to die cut it out. And as you can see, if I, if I put it straight up and down this way, it's gonna hang off the edge of my card, which sometimes is okay. You just put it in a little bit larger envelope if you want that. But if I angle it just slightly this way, it's gonna fit perfectly within the frame of the card. I also die cut the thanks word out of our thanks die, and I cut that with that purple card stock. And the shadow feature I cut out of a piece of vellum. So vellum is always nice to give like a light look over something where you can still, it's translucent, so you can see through it, but it's not completely clear, but it's going to help that thanks word kind of pop off 
of the background that it's over because the flower could be a little bit busy down here. So that vellum helps to soften it up and help pop the word off of there so that you, you easily see it. Now gluing down vellum can be a little tricky. Um, there's all kinds of vellum tape and glue out there and I haven't found the perfect one that you just can't see it through the vellum because it's translucent. You're gonna see anything that's on the other side pretty much. So what I do in this case is I'm gonna glue the thanks to the shadow piece first. So let's do that. Now, once I have the word glued to the vellum piece, I can turn it over and I can add my glue just where the word thanks is. And that way the glue is not going to be seen in the part that's just vellum. So there's our card and I think we're almost finished. I could leave it like this. It's really pretty, I think. But I want to add a little bit of sparkle and shine. So I'm going to use some of our gold glossy dots. And there we have our thanks card with one of our tall flowers. I think that turned out really pretty. I love the dimension and texture that the embossing folder gives to the background. And we have our, our die cut word on top of the vellum, which gives another look. A little bit of shine from the glossy dots. Our next thank you card is going to be a slimline card. So I have a card base, it's eight and a half by three and a half. I've cut a layering piece out of this pink cardstock, and then I've cut our plaid slimline die. Look how beautiful and detailed that plaid die cut is. Okay, so now we have our layering piece for our card. I love the look of that plaid. Oh boy. Now I'm going to adhere it to my card base. Okay, so here is our slimline card base. So in this card, I want to add another one of the tall flowers. I did this one in really nice bright pink, so it matches. I could put that right on top of the plaid, but I don't think the pink flowers pop off the card quite enough with that pink background. So with our stitched circle dies, I have cut a large circle. It's too large to just put on the card, but I like to have it go off the edge of the card. It's just something, it just adds to the look of the card just to have something going off the edge. It doesn't always have to be totally inclusive of the card. So we're going to put the flower on top of this vellum. And again, the vellum just adds like a translucent layer that, that makes your element on top of it kind of pop off the background. But you can still see subtly through it the, the nice background in the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue my flower to the vellum where I want it so that I can see where to cut the vellum off. So now we have our flower glued down to our vellum piece. That also allows me to know where I can put the glue on the back of the vellum where it won't be seen and be obvious to glue it to the card base. Now we have our vellum circle and our flower glued down to the card base. I'm gonna turn the card over and with my scissors, I'm just gonna trim off 
this part of the circle that lays over the edge of the card. Now from our Slimline Saying stamp set, I have just stamped the word thanks, and I cut it out to three and a half inches so it fits across the card. So now I just have to decide where I want that thanks to go. I think I'm gonna put it down here on the bottom just to kind of balance the top and the bottom of the card and so I don't cover up too much of the, the flower. I think it needs one last touch, of course. I think I'm gonna add some of the gold glossy dots again. I just think that gold pops off this pink and teal really nicely. So let's add a few of these. And there we go, I think that finishes the card nicely. For our last card we're gonna to make today, we're gonna to make another A2 size, four and a quarter by five and a half card. So I have our white card base. We're gonna use those tall flowers again. This time I've created a panel for my card with the plaid embossing folder. And this one, oh, I love, I told you I love plaids. <laughs> I just love the look of it. This gives a really deep impression. Just look at the plaid texture that that gives to this panel. So let's glue that down to the card base. I also cut that panel with our stitched rectangle set. I believe it was set two I used to get this, this size. And so I also have the nice finished little stitching around the edge that adds an extra little finishing. So we're gonna use another vellum circle, cut out a stitch circle dies, just to help the florals pop off of the card. So again, I'm going to just kind of put it off to the side. I'm gonna have my, this is the third grouping of flowers and the tall flowers. I've colored them in a really pretty coral color. I think it looks really nice with the tan background. So I'm gonna glue that down to the vellum circle. One thing I thought, I thought I would try with this card is I colored out another set of this flower in the same colors and I fussy cut with scissors just these two individual flowers and I'm gonna add some foam adhesive and we're gonna pop those up to give some extra dimension. Oh yes, I love how that looks. Look how the three dimensional those flowers look like they're just kind of popping up and coming at you. Oh, I love it. So let's glue the vellum down. Again, I just added some glue where that flower is gonna cover it up so you won't see any adhesive through. And again, I'm gonna flip it at the card over and I'm gonna cut off this extra vellum that sticks off the side of the card. So I've stamped and cut out, just in a little rectangle, the thanks from the Tall Flower stamp set, and I'm just gonna adhere that down in the corner here. There we have the card. I could very easily just leave this card like this. We have texture from the embossing folder. We have the dimension and the raised roses here. It's just really pretty but I think we need to add some sparkle and shine. So new to our site also is our thankful glitter enamel dots. So these enamel dots have really pretty glitter inside them. But I use that light tan color one. I think, oh, it looks so pretty on the card. So there is our final thank you card. 
I want to thank you again for joining me today as we created these thank you cards with some brand new products from Pink and Main. You can find all the items listed in the description and they're available at pinkandmain.com. Until we see you again, keep living the creative life. Hey friends, it's great to be back with you. If you and I have not met, my name is Emma Lou and I'm with Heartfelt Creations. Today I'm gonna to share some of my top tips on how to create elegant, extremely beautiful Christmas cards that are very simple to do. So I know we're super close to Christmas and you might be like, well, hey, I'm all done with my Christmas crafting. Maybe this gives you some ideas for next year. Or maybe you're one of my crafting friends that has been procrastinating and you have some very special people on your list that you know that you want to give a Christmas card. If that's you, join me and we'll learn how to create a beautiful ornament card the easy way. Um, this is super simple, super beautiful and elegant. Um, so you can do something on a six by six card. You can do something on just a simple A2, four and a half, a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card with lots of glitter um, using the beautiful background papers. Or if you wanna do something a little bit more elaborate, you could always you know, amp it up, do like a little flip fold with your ornament. So what I love about this, as we go through, you'll see that it is super versatile and it has been used many different ways. So introduce yourselves, don't be shy. Tell me what you've been loving about the event so far. I know that so many of us um, just love seeing different techniques and how you can create these. Now, with this one, the star of the show today is the Noel ornament die. The Noel ornament die has four pieces, which really indicates how versatile this is because you can interlock and interact in different ways with it. I'm just going to pop this off real quick so you can see some of those pieces. So you have a couple different ornaments in here. So there's like three ornaments that nest together and then this piece will go on top as well. So that's what we're gonna do and show you. So with this one, I cut one out of gold Lux cardstock. If you do not have this, this is a superior like product that really makes your um, items just pop up so beautifully. I love how like the silent night, it just makes it look so elegant, very rich and luxe very quickly. Then we cut out one of the smaller size with the um, white um, cardstock and we'll just go ahead and foam dot that on top. So as you can see, like if you just cut out, say you have five more Christmas cards that you wanna make. This is a very simple way, like you and I both know that as the holidays get closer, we always have um, you know, maybe a little bit less time and a little bit more things on a list to do. So we want to make sure that we still get those beautiful handmade cards done and given to the people that we just love. And we want to make sure that um, that is OK. Actually, this one, let's see, this one goes the other way. Here we go. How did I know that it wasn't matching up here? And this curves up like that. So then we have this belly band that you can cut out um, of white cardstock, which is essentially this piece. So instead of doing it in gold, we did it in white. Stamp that sentiment, and you have that beautiful ornament that it comes together so quickly. So um, that is a way you can do that and layer it. But as you can see, the design team members have done many different ways and variations of this. So like this one, we used a different border. We used this beautiful ornament, added some, you can do some layering of cardstock, add gold on the top, and then just fill that in with like a crystal lacquer. You could even sprinkle glitter over the area. You can do all sorts of fun things. Now, the next thing about this that makes these Christmas cards come together so quickly and beautifully is the Oh Holy Night collection, which is a collection of Christmas papers or more of the traditional colors. If you're not a traditional girl, you can always, like we have a merry and bright collection. We have some different Christmas collection with different color themes. And these are designed to make Christmas card making super fast, simple, and easy. Now, one thing that's great to know is any of the items that I'm showing today, they are retiring. What does that mean? That means that these items are going 
bye-bye to make room for new items in 2021. It means that they are on a special savings of up to 50% but the good news is, is we have a bunch of this ornament in stock yet, I think. Um, not I think, I know we have quite a few of these, but I do know some of the items um, within this collection are sold out. This die specifically right here is sold out. And I know that the sentiment stamp set of this one is sold out. So if you've been on the sidelines, you've been seeing these, uh, make sure you run over to heartfeltcreations.us. The discount on our limited edition items is applied on the price already, so you don't have to add a special code. Uh, make sure you grab yours right away before those are um, sold out. I don't want you to miss out on that. So any of the items today um, are on the retired list except for the little poinsettias. If you don't have those yet, that's an easy add-on um, that I love to make my Christmas cards super simple and easy, and we'll show you how to make one very quickly. Um, so here you have that Christmas card. Now, you could just have done just a simple little um, shape card with some vellum poinsettias. You could also do um, just kind of a white with blue or your favorite color with a little bit of glitter. Very, very stunning. I love how this one is just a very non-traditional color um, using a plum with some plum poinsettias as well. So did you want to see how to do the poinsettias? I know some of you may have seen this, some of you might not have, but anytime you see our paper flowers um, at Heartfelt Creations, that's what we're known for, um, you might be like, oh my goodness, those look beautiful, but I don't know if I could make them. Um, what I did here is I just stamped this with a really dark red ink um, on red cardstock. What I love about this is it's done for you. So all you have to add once this comes out of the shaping mold, so this shapes it for you. So whether you are an expert pro at flower making and this saves you time, it saves hand pressure. You know how your hand aches when you're shaping a ton of Christmas flowers, oh my goodness. Um, so this does it for you. So we're just gonna put this into the plates and run it through the machine. And it makes that your flowers come out the same beautiful way every single time. So whether you are a new person um, shaping flowers or you're an expert, this comes out beautifully each time. So all you have to do when this comes out is you just bring this out and you will glue those flowers together and you have a beautiful poinsettia. So I like to use flower st stamens in the center or some little pearls. Um, so what you can do is just take your shaping mat and a stylus let me see if I can, I forgot to get that, here we go. Here is my mat, so you'll go ahead, this is like what I call the little uh, flower pillow. Um, you'll put that onto the mat, just press down in the middle, and that's done. So if you can press down in the middle, glue them together, you have a beautiful poinsettia very quickly. So all you have to do is just add a little bit of glue at the base, offset those petals, and when I go to put that together, I will just take my stylus back in and just press that down again so that um, those, I don't squish those petals with my fingers. And then we'll go back. So if you are stamping with dark ink on just a colored cardstock, um, you can then go back and you can add glitter um, to really make that pop, which is something that I love to do with all of my flowers. And you can just nestle that onto that poinsettia leaf and or a holly leaf and you've got that all done now for this card these um it, this is a little bit of a lighter red cardstock this one was stamped in red and colored in i wanted to show you how you can also do a variation of color which is something i love so if you have a couple different colors of poinsettias you can then just have some fun adding those to the top so i'm going to add three poinsettias up here um, so you can very quickly and easily see how two tones of poinsettias together just make it look really beautifully very quickly. Um, so if you're doing something simple, you could just, you know, add three poinsettias, you're all done. Um, like this card, I didn't even add any poinsettias. This one was just stamp the sentiment, added some glitter to the ornament, added the background papers, and you're done. This one you could have added a couple poinsettias as well. So you can really customize it um, and make that come to life however you want. I'm going to go ahead and just take it to the next level and just add some more poinsettias down here. Um, and do, I typically like to work in odd numbers. So we'll do um, maybe four down here. So we'll go ahead and do three. So it's kind of in opposite corners. So we'll cluster that in. And I might do just one more. Let's see. When I'm coming in, I might just, like, where does this one want to go? Where does this flower want to live? Let's go ahead and just pop that one 
right over here on the side because I don't want to hide too much of the ornament. Um, so you have it just kind of that continuation. Okay, so that will complete that card very quickly, very beautifully, and it still looks like you spent quite a lot of time. So before we go, I just want to give you another close-up look at some more. So this one is very similar. The background is going the opposite way, three poinsettias. You've got that sentiment in the center. So just remember, you can head over to heartfeltcreations.us, click on the shop button, go to limited edition, and you'll see many of our retiring items um, at a savings of 50%. And um, you'll want to grab those before those are gone. Some of the items um, within the Oh Holy Night collection we are sold out of. So just the ornament, I know I still have some. So make sure you grab that before that goes out of stock. So um, here is one just tone on tone, white with the blue. So have a lot of fun. Um, I think I might still have some of the Holy Night scroll. You can check that out on um, the website. But that is a beautiful one, just adding those poinsettias as well. Um, so that is just a great way to really recreate the beautiful, magical Christmas cards the easy way. Do you see how that background has the red? So you can also use kind of the opposite um, side of the die to really get a really great look with that as well. So lots of fun ways to recreate your own one-of-a-kind Christmas cards. Thank you so much for joining me today and for being part of this event. We hope to see you back next time again. Um, just run to heartfeltcreations.us Click on the shop, then limited edition. You'll see all the items that I um, showcase today for you, and you'll save up to 50%. Have fun shopping. We'll see you, see you next time. Bye. Welcome back, everybody, and Vicki Dill, I have a I wardrobe know, change. So Ladies and gentlemen, I talked about hot, these literally hot off the press. Look at this, everybody. I die. Look at the beauty in these. Brand new. This is something that within the next 48 hours, you are going to be able to go to our shopathomeevents.com website, and you're going to see... Aprons, look at this. Oh my gosh, you guys. look at the beautiful colors. Look at the colors. Look at this. I'm telling everybody. you, this right here for women, this cut, I I love it so much. If I wasn't wearing all this bulky, I'd have this on. <laughs> it is so pretty, and I love this scoop neck. I was telling Dave and Sean that I would totally wear this, and I'm going to wear this with like my necklace, and it would be so pretty showing. And then it like would. a pretty scarf, you could you could dress it up. I'm I'm definitely, I, oh my gosh, and the yeah. fabric is so soft, I got this in an extra large, I it love the colors, beautiful. I, everybody, yeah. oh my gosh, you're going to go, there's so going to be, exciting. A, and we're going to be adding designs, so you yes. always want to go back and check the designs, and there will also be an email that's going to come out too to let you know, hey, you need to go check that out, so yeah. if you haven't already signed up for our email uh, list to get those, for our newsletter, you are going to go to craftathomeevents.com and sign up for our newsletter. And boy, what a not a great time to do that now. And look at Sean's. Oh my goodness. And another apron. You guys, take your take your apron yes. off. Da 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 da. Oh, I thought you were stripping. I love this. <laughs> look at that. Look at the colors. I mean, that the colors just pop on I all of these. Love so colors. this is going to be something that you are going to want to get now to start out the new year, yes. right? You when you're crafting, yes. how fun with the pockets you could throw in your adhesive. I always lose yeah, that. Everybody needs this. And how about this for a great present for a girlfriend when you? I know a lot of you get together and watch our broadcast. Wouldn't that be so neat yes. to? All have this matching yes. apron. I would add like a little bow there and dress it up oh, or yeah. fling it out. Or yep. that is so cute. That these would fit right into somebody's stocking for sure. That so, is for sure. Yep. So make sure that you go to the shop at hummyvents.com website and check it out. Like I said, within the next 48 hours, um, you're going to be getting email and we're going to be adding more uh, designs as they come in and so, colors. I've yes. heard that there. I know we have our, you know, our our violets, our 
Heather, yeah, we're maybe, have but we're going to have blue, yes, new colors. colors. I know, like, I asked, I'm not sure if they're going to have it, Sean, but I love, like, turquoise and red. Yep. Sapphire, yep. And nice. so there's going to be all kinds of colors. There's going to be this cut like Dave has here, which is beautiful. I know a lot of you love this button. So yes, it's one of our buttons, so look at that, They put in t-shirt form. It's so cute. I yeah. survived the crafting apocalypse. Yes. And <laughs> look at it. He has like a glue gun. And oh my goodness. So How fun. And there's the crop cart. That's so cute. And they're going to have all kinds of different logos. Yeah, designs. Um, yes. Look at how pretty and feminine this is. But they have... The sky is the limit. It's going to yeah. be amazing. So you're going to want to sign up for the newsletter. Yeah, something new and exciting. And I'll tell you, everybody, new car smell, too. So oh. right there. So you want to grab one. That's so your deodorant. That's <laughs> uh, <laughs> so check them out. We're so excited. I know. It's new, so, new, so new. Like, I love it. Yes. I love new clothes. All right. So thank you. Oh, my gosh. We're so excited. I know. More shopping. More shopping. Oh, my goodness. This is amazing. Yes. Yes. It? it is so great. And the guys should... The the uh, designs I bet are going to be endless too. So I know, right? Oh great. my goodness! So, so we're excited. So check that out. So it's coming. So check for that newsletter. That that's right. So um, so our presenter Riley and Company um, always you know the dress up Riley's all of her dress ups are so adorable and you know what a better time uh, she has that special. If you spend seventy five dollars or more, you're going to get that gingerbread set for free. Oh. Holy shabango. The gingerbread is so cute. Yes. I'm going to turn on my outfit here, Dave. Yes. And also, um, I love the idea. You know, she said she had some friends that were maybe in a, a craft uh, yeah, craft punk. neutral. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, gosh, what? how fun to just pull out some envelopes yeah. and do some creating. Exactly. And, you know, you get, you'll start getting your stamps out and get some inspiration but uh, right. I always love decorating the envelopes too it's, it, it's just that added thing and with the envelopes all you have to do is make sure there's a spot there to, to put the address on that who you're gonna send it to or give exactly. it to so um, brighten up their your uh, uh, your letter carriers day too with a nice uh, sparkly envelope as right. well so and like I like I love what she was saying you know when you do when your brain is kind of with all bogged down you kind of feel like you're not like in that much of a crafty mode or whatever. Doing an envelope, it just kind of it's it's going to be flat, so you don't have to worry about all the layers. Yes. Or, and you could yep. just color and make it look so pretty, and like yeah. that kind of gets your juices flowing. And yeah. I thought that was a great idea. Yeah. And gosh, you could use an envelope like as a template. You know, yeah. you start it out, and then you can kind of make like a sample even card with exactly. it. Exactly. So the Riley and Company is 25% off all Dress Up Riley. Our friend Cindy, hi Cindy, if you're watching, <laughs> she was showing that she was making her Christmas cards she this week. 30 oh, cards. Oh, 30 wow. cards you can dress yes. up Riley. One day. Oh wow. my gosh, She's Cindy, you're busy. amazing. And <laughs> so cute for Christmas. I love it. So 25% off all Dress Up Riley and a free gingerbread house ornament with a $75 purchase. You don't need a coupon code, and the offer will expire on December 18th. Great, great. So thank you, Riley and company, once again. We're so excited to have you again. Yes. So, and Pink and Main, did somebody say sunburst? Did somebody say plaid? Holy cow. I mean. Oh, my gosh, right? I, the, the sunburst eyes, and making them look like a, a patchwork. You know how she took took those cards and made a patchwork out of yes. them, and the sentiment. I like how uh, the stamps fit into the center of if you're doing a, the slim right. line, which I love, or your regular A2 card. I love how those things fit together because I always, you know, when you're, uh, uh, it's always nice. Uh, Excuse me. What I was going to say was... <laughs> he gets excited. Yeah, ah, <laughs> his brain goes <laughs> rare. I wanted to say this, but it didn't get very yeah. big. No, but it is frustrating sometimes. You have this beautiful card and you have this sentiment, and then you go to stamping it, and you, you it can't see it. So yeah, exactly. What a great idea. And the embossing folders, I love being mm -hmm. able to see what that design is going to be instead of trying to hold it up here or just, you know, try to do something like that. So um, excited about the, the embossing folders and... The plaid uh, die. Yes. Oh, my goodness. The plaid die, the embossing folders. How about that beautiful um, slimline flower? What was it called? The flower that was tall flower, the tall I flower guess, stamp, and the yeah. die. Stamp um, and die, yes. Um, the, um, the houndstooth stencil, or... Yeah. 
Yeah. No, embossing folder. Embossing folder. Yes. Just everything is. I love pink and mink. So cute. Yes. The sunburst, like you were talking about. The she even has a slimline sentiment stamp set. Yes. I thought that was really nice. Just amazing, right, Dave? Yeah, great stuff. I'll <laughs> tell you, I loved it, loved it, loved it, loved right. it. That um, uh, the uh, the patchwork, um, the the plaid, the plaid dye was just yes. um, very unique and, and so get it for sure. Okay, so <laughs> the coupon code is thank you to receive twenty percent off your order, and that's going to be from December twelfth through the eighteenth. So remember that coupon code. Thank you. Great. Thank You're you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, they've already put their orders in. <laughs> uh, so, and then we had the, the uh, just lovely Emma Lou, who just does all Gorgeous. those beautiful heart belt creations, and they are creations. That ornament die, which the Noel ornament die, which is retiring. Yeah. I mean, look, with one die, it's four pieces, but did you, that one set can make just an array of different types of I cards. Know. And the beauty, and I love using, um, like she said, non-traditional. I love that plum color. Yes, and I do too. And the poinsettias, and you could use, you know, uh, the poinsettias go with, gosh, anything. I know, the mold yeah. makes those flowers so real. I know I bought um, from the last the last uh, sh shop at home, and oh my goodness, they're so easy to make. They're so beautiful, and it just looks like... Just a, like a present in itself. Yeah. And it's the card. It's yeah. a must have. Yeah. Yes. You know, and when she, you know, took the, um, uh, took the point says and just, you know, layered them and boom, 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 put a little bling on them. You know, you could put a little, um, any kind of like, uh, the glitters, yep. Wink Estella, anything, you right. know, on those to make them beautiful. So what was their special, Miss Vicky? Their Vicky's special is save up to 50% off of limited edition items. Wow. No coupon code needed. And that expires on January 6th. So wow. you have quite a bit yeah. to get those limited edition yep. things. Oh. Which way to go out. Yeah, before it's yeah. out. True, so, true. Yeah. So, so get over there to Heartfelt Creations. And we will be back after our next presentations. Hi, this is Dave with Rubbernecker, and I'm going to show you a little watercoloring today um, on a couple of new stamps that we've got. Um, we've got three um, ready right now and a few more to follow. Um, and I'm going to show you these two today. And um, we're going to be using Color Burst. Um, these are the powders. These are the liquids. If you've done watercolor before, I highly recommend the powders. But if watercolor is new to you or you're unsure with it, the liquids are simply foolproof because they're already, they're already controlled. They're already cut down a little bit. And adding a little bit of water to them um, means that you can get very, very light tones and they mix really well. And you don't end up with little granules of, of color or too much color, which is the main problem learning to use color burst because it's this pure intense pigment. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to start with this first flower. Um, we're going to we're going to work with the misty, which is something we've never done before with these stamps. So um, we're going to remove the um, the padding here that works with the clear stamps because we're just going to work with um, rubber on these rubber with cling. So let me get my magnets in here. Hold that down. This is a piece of 140 pound watercolor paper. Um, it's inexpensive Canson paper and it does the job. So this is our insert. We've cut off our packaging and so I'm going to bring this in here. I'm going to lay this on top of it and I'm going to position it about like that because we're going to trim this watercolor paper down later. So I'm going to pull it off and just ballpark. That's just fine. Right there. Okay. So I'm going to move this over just a bit here so you can see both pieces and just down a little bit. And I'm going to be working right up here because I'm out of blue. Oh, I've got some blue in my tray here, but I don't want to work with it in the traditional way where we put in a relatively dry brush. 
I want to work with it in more of a watercolory way. So we're going to do this right here. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of the cerulean blue and I'm going to mix it in there. And so it's really, really watery. Okay. And that's going to make it a really nice light shade. And I'm going to pretty much cover this whole stamp with that. And what I'm hoping to do is cause it to come together in color. I don't want a uniform color is what I'm trying to say. I want it to be um, a little blotchy and very thin. And I'm going to give it a, a couple sprays. And we're just going to let it work. And now the suction, when I pull this up, is going to cause the inks to kind of come together like that. And I'm just going to let that dry for a couple minutes. Now I'm not going to I'm going to just blot this off roughly, but I'm not going to try and remove everything. And I'm going to come back in with just a little bit more of the cerulean, just to darken it a bit. And I'm just going to spread it in the middle, staying away from the outside edges, because I want that lightness to be there. And let's see what we get now. Okay, a little bit more color there. And now I'm going to force a little bit more on this third one. And I'm not going to even remove this. I'm just going to work with it. And I'm just going to dot in a little bit of the darkest blue right in the middle of each of the flowers. And knowing that it's going to spread when I stamp it, even, even though it'll want to kind of soak in. There. Let me switch to this other view of this and pull this up here and bring this in for you. So you can see what we've got going on here. As the colors start to work into the watercolor paper or work around it, you can see we get the layers of color. I didn't quite make that as light as I might like it. Um, but you, you know, on the next pass, I would take a little bit less off. And we could even come back in with a little bit more and tap in a little bit more darkness right in the middle of the rubber. And do it again. It doesn't, there's no magic number about three. If we wanted just a little bit more color in there, we can do it. You can also very gently, with really not much water, you can pick up a little bit of the cerulean and you can touch it right in if you want. There's still moisture in there and as long as it's wet and you're not using a lot of water, you can actually add color to the watercolor paper, which is something that's very unusual. You can't do it with cardstock and you can't do it with the, um, with the felt paper um, that we sell. It just isn't made for that. But if this was a blended, we'll get into that. Some of the next ones we're due are going to be the, um, we're going to be using um, the Gamboge and the Scarlet from the um, Moroccan set. And because of the contrasting colors, rather monochromatic like this, um, you can get even more interesting results by just touching in color. Uh, gentle is better than um, bull in the china closet. Go easy with your watercolor and you can do amazing things. So let me clean this off a little bit. We're going to switch back to the wide angle here and pull that stamp off. Now, what I've done here is I've taken and marked on the back of my stamp six positions for those six flower buds. And so I'm going to take a look at this and say, okay, right about down there is where I want that one to go. And that one I want to go right there. And I'm going to position those visually, just doing what I'm doing here. I've also got a space in between where the two sticks come through. And I want that flower to span that. Actually, I'm going to take it back a little bit further. I'm just going to modify the stamp with a pair of the Tim Holtz scissors. And take that out because there's a space in between there and there that goes right across that flower bud. And so if I position this right, 
I'll be able to see the flower bud in between, and that's what I'm after. Okay, so now I'm going to take the lamp black from the set, and I'm going to use just a little bit right here on my craft sheet. And my brush got to be right there. And I'm going to pick this up with enough water on it. So it's going to basically be, it looks like it's black on the screen, but it's really a, a, a charcoal and it's not very dark at all because it's very watery. And I'm going to brush this on and then we'll stamp it and see if I get the contrast that I'm looking for. Because I'm going to put one coat on with this and then I'm going to highlight it with um, a much stronger black. So I get a kind of a gray base to this and I didn't get quite enough. And that's always the case. You always want to make a little bit more than what you think you're going to want. Okay, a couple little crystals came out. Try and catch all of this with it. And now I'm going to put in a little bit more. No, I've got to stamp it first. Okay, so here we go with this. Okay, that came out really nice. Okay, so I don't want quite as much water on this. this so I'm going to take this off now. And I'm going to put a little bit more into this so it gets much richer. And I'm going to predominantly do the little, the little spots in the buds, but I'm also going to go down along this solid stalk right here and add a little darkness to it, just, just randomly. And remember, if you didn't get someplace that you wanted to get more, you can do it again. Okay, that came out great. It's watercolor, and you have to play with it, and you don't always get what you want the first time. But, you know, I got a little bit of, of disconnection in here, and it makes it look very watercolory. It's not like I've stamped it, but it's more like I tried to paint this with a brush, which I can't do. Um, and I'm pretty happy with the way it aligned. Um, this is a new stamp for me, so it is... Um, not, I'm not used to it yet, but um, that's a pretty good looking stamp. Um, I did one earlier, and um, I've got a couple cards here. There's a result for that one. Um, and it made a real pretty little with sympathy card. I'm sure there are lots of more uses for that, but um, a nice start. Okay, so we're going to move on to the second one now. Um, and we're only going to have time for two, but. Um, it'll be fine. Um, I'll make some more off camera and put them up on YouTube for you. But we're going to position this guy, um, and I think it goes about like that. So we're going to position him in there about like that. And I'm just going to slip this out, see if it's about centered. Nice thing about the watercolor paper is that it um, it's usually larger than what you're going to work with. And so center it in the middle and just trim it. And so on here, we're going to work with um, some of the yellow in the set. Actually, no, we don't have yellow in the set. We're not going to work with yellow. And so I'm going to work with the gamboge, if I can get away with this blue water. Okay. And I'm just going to put this on randomly, and I'm not going to put it on everywhere. I 
and that's what I want to do. And so now I'm going to put some more on. And I'm paying attention to areas that I didn't particularly get last time. And I'm working with the powdered watercolor today um, because I'm, I'm used to it. But if you're doing this in the beginning, the liquid watercolor that I showed you in the beginning is much easier to work with. And all you need to do to lighten it up a little bit to get gradation of tone is to add a little water to it. So as you make it, as you mix it, a little bit of water, a little bit more water makes it lighter. And it's very easy to use that way. So let's see what we've got going here. Okay, so we filled in some of the leaves. I got a few more. I'm going to leave that. I that's the it's the color change that I think is really interesting. And so now I'm going to come back in with a little bit more of the gamboge. And I've got some scarlet here from previously on my palette, and I'm going to pick up a little bit of that, and and shade it a little bit with that. And I'm just kind of kind of tint these flowers here and there, with uh, actually their leaves, aren't they? Um, with a little bit more color, a little bit of fall thing. If you're back east, uh, maybe there's some leaves still, probably not. In California, the leaves just turned brown. Um, but for those of you that are watching and are in the Midwest states, um, Robert Necker will soon be based in Tennessee. Uh, both my son and I have bought homes in Tennessee, just south of Nashville, and we're very excited and we'll be moving across there um, in the month of December. It will mean that we can get your packages to you even faster. And now I'm going to use some of the Scarlet directly. Right into the water. And to help disperse it, I'm going to give it a quick press with a stamp. There we go. And once again, that looks like I really tried to watercolor this um, as opposed to stamping it. And any time I can get that kind of a result where it makes it look like I actually have some painting talent, I'm thrilled. Because I know I don't, and you guys have seen me demo before, you know I don't either. So we'll just leave it at that. And the stem goes on. And once again, looking at my package piece, it goes on about like that and that and that. And what I'm doing is I'm looking at that little piece right there, that little piece, and that little piece, and I'm aiming for there, and there, and there. And that's what I'm trying to do. And we'll see if I had any luck at all with that. Okay, we're going to go back to our lamp black and use the same technique we did before. Just a couple crystals to make a gray base. And I got a little bit too much water, so I want a little bit more color into that. And this is working with the water. Um, as you do this and you find that um, you're getting too much, it blurs out too much, then just back off on your water a little bit. I probably have enough water on there without even having to spray that uh, for the first pass, remembering that we're going to stamp it again and again and again. That looks really great. And now we're going to add some more of the black to what we got going up here.
and we'll use that to accent that. And we got a nice, good solid black there. And so I'm going to go to the bottom side of this. Just kind of touch it in. Just randomly add a little bit here and there. And see what we get. It's already wet down below. It doesn't dry out that fast. So you can come in and, and add without having to spray. And let me move in on that one so you can see it. I'm going to shift it over this way and then bring my camera in a little closer. I'm going to switch to that. There we go. And that's a that's a nice finished piece right there. Okay. So we did that one earlier. I made a couple of cards. I did that one, and we used brown on it that time. Um, and it's you know I'm not much of a card maker, so it is what it is. Uh, maybe back out a little bit. Yeah. Um, that's why we have a design team. Um, the women on our design team are outstanding, and I don't even attempt to try and say that I'm a card maker because I'm not. Um, I like doing this. Um, and here's another one that we have coming out that's, that's new uh, that we didn't have time for today, uh, but we'll have available for you. Um, and there's a, there's a few others that we'll have. So by the time this airs, um, we'll have the the rubber back from the um, we'll have the rubber back from the uh, engraver, and um, we'll get some other things out to you. And I hope you've enjoyed this today. Um, come see us. Thanks. Good morning, everybody. This is Maria C., the Sizzix Lady from It's Cheaper Than Therapy.com. I want to welcome you today. Uh, we are going to do some embossing. So I wanted to kind of show you some just real quick um, techniques that we can do today by just showing different ways of just doing embossing. Um, we're going to be doing things like showing how to do the impresslets, um, something that's really simple and easy. Um, these are the 3D impresslets. And so we're also going to show you how to use the regular impresslets, which you didn't really know, probably that they were out there. So um, 3D folders, um, all of that stuff. So let's get ready and let me show you something really super fun to do. One of the things that I wanted to show is just really how simple um, something that's just an embossing that can just be put onto a card just to make it pop and make it really super um you know, elegant, but doesn't take a lot of time, especially during this time of all the different seasons and card making and all of that too. So um, let me show you how to do the 3D impresslets. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the Sizzix Big Shot Express. This is the electric version, and we're gonna do the, use the multi-purpose platform. So I'm gonna open it up, and you're gonna see where it says 3D textured impressions. And we are going to put this in here. And you can use different, um, you know, card stocks and all of that too. So one of the things, let me grab it, just a chunk of paper here real quick, card stock. Okay, so it shows on here that you're going to put your 3D folder or 3D impresslet on top of this platform where it has the coral around the edge. And then you're only going to put one clear cut platform up on top. Normally, you would sandwich... Um, the two pieces together, but we're not going to do that. So we're going to actually just put our cardstock inside, inside the 3D impresslet. You're going to put the 3D impresslet directly onto the platform here. Take your clear cutting pad or your sparkle ones, which are super pretty, and 
and it's just as easy as that just to run it through many times you don't have to even run the impresslets in that or 3ds um, through more than once and you can see just right here how beautiful that it is what I want to show you is that you can see just how beautiful that it has embossed and that's just on the back side so you can actually use it as the deboss or the emboss side and then you just want to pop it out of your folder and you can turn it over and look how gorgeous that is that is just stunning and you can do different things with it you can do different textures um, markers inks anything that you want to um, make it pop a little bit more but it really gave a really super deep impression and so here is just an example of just a really um, super cute tag that you can use and this was used with the metallic paper there's the Renea double-sided foils and I'll do some of the little embossing with that too for you um, and then this one too is also done with the metallics and it's just the, the long version of the impresslet and so this one is just the it's a longer one a kind of a border rather than just the round image with uh, different uh, inks metallic -y inks and this is another one too where you can make just a really super um, oh, what do they got that gilding paste um, the metallic pastes uh, what I want to show you is just the regular impresslets and these are just going to impress you so basically what you want to do is get your impresslet out and that's what this is so um, 3d impresslets and I'm not sure if I really um, specified on there is basically what it is it's an embossing folder and it also has the die inside so you can see the cutting edge here and then here are the embossing there's the emboss and deboss um, sections on there and so these are much thicker than your regular um, embossing folders and that's why we only use one clear cutting pad instead of two on the 3d ones and so we're going to work with just the regular impresslets and these are pretty cool um, because they emboss and then they die cut where you see the silver and the cool thing about these is that they also make really great um, shaker cards too so this one here we just emboss and i'm going to show you how you use it it's basically the same way and look at the nice embossing that it has done and that tree one um, you know so if you put some foam tape on the back of this and your little um, acetate window and just kind of popped it from your card you could make things shake in here so they make really great easy super shaker cards so um, let's get let me start and show you how to cut these I'm gonna put my cardstock on here and you can put your whole piece on there and then trim it down to fit or you can um, trim it to fit your a2 um, pretty much these are like a2 size so you don't want to, um, you can make a bigger card, but you're going to have more of an edge on there. And so we're going to use the same coral platform top. And we're going to run this through a couple times. Make sure, especially kind of right around where that um, the tree branches are. Sometimes those can be just a little finicky. This is about 110 pound weight cardstock. So I'm just going to give it just that little extra over that middle part. And we're going to see how that does. And one of the other tools, like I said, this is the, the permanent marker set, and I'm going to have a, a place on there on the online that you can, um, you know, look at. And so these are the reverse action tweezers, and we also have a curb tip, curbed um, tip set of tweezers. Say that about 10 times. And then we have the black, and we also have the white um, um, die picks, which I also recommend, especially for this application. And we're going to open this up. And you can see right away if it's cut. So before you pop everything out, make sure everything is cut. And you can just look right around here and you can see that's a real good solid cut around the die area. And you're going to pop these pieces out. And don't forget to pop these ones out too. Don't be bending your embossing folder. You want to get yourself a, a nice set of adhesive to put onto your card but you could put a sentiment you could put a different colored window behind there if you wanted to so if you had this these are the beautiful metallic -y papers um, that we sell and so you could even put 
you know, something white behind there if you wanted to, and just to give it a different color besides the blue. And like I said, you can make the shaker cards and all of that with it. And there's a lot of different impresslets that you can get. So let me show you just a few of the other ones. We have all the 3D um, ones online, and then but we also have these other um, impresslets as well. And so this one here, this is called Changing of the Seasons. And the cool thing about this one is that you do get all of the different um, seasons in here of the different uh, like snowflakes or leaves. Um, but these are just, uh, let me see if I can get that up there. Look at how cute those little shakers are. Really easy to work with. This one here is Thanks a Latte. Really great for the coffee. So if you want to give somebody a cute little gift card, you can do that too. Let's see if I can get that up there. Yeah. So that makes really fun shaker cards there. Um, this one is really cute, and this one is a, um, this is the camera, the instant camera one. And so it has, it looks like, you know, you could put like the little um, picture that's coming out of the instant camera. So it's a little different than the other ones, but it's just adorable. This one here is called Magic of the Season, and it's got these really pretty trees and the word believe in there. And here's a couple samples of how you can use that. This is one of I love these ones because they're just super easy. And this one is called Season of Joy. And so it's got the ornaments and all of that too. And look at the fun shakers. And like I said, you don't have to make them into a shaker. You can make them into whatever you'd like. This one is called Wedding Window. You know, um, and then... It has the little windows that kind of come out too. So it makes it a little bit dimensional. So you could do something like a, a, a fun holiday, religious, sympathy, wedding, and all of that too. And then this one here is um, called Sweet Friend. And so it has a happy birthday and these different dies in here. And it does show up in the corner of all the different dies and everything that you get. So these are your dies that come in there. And so they also have coordinating dies. So it's not just the die that's inside of the embossing folder. There's coordinating ones. So here you can actually kind of mix and match all the different ones and to make different, different card fronts or fronts or shakers. And then this one here is the window box. And he's always been really popular, really cute. And look at the beautiful little flowers. You know, one of the things is I wanted to show you is about the Sizzix Adhesive um, Permanent Sheets. Um, these are great. You get um, 10 sheets in here, and they are 6 by 6 in size. So if you have things that are, like, um, you know, detailed or you, you have a hard time putting adhesive on it, these are double-sided. And so I just wanted to quick kind of tell you how easily you can make a sticker. You know, as you peel it, stick it on your paper, die-cut it, take it out and peel the other side off and you have a sticker. Um, it is just that easy. But I wanted to kind of share that with you today and enjoy making lots of fun stickers. Okay, so this one here is the Renea paper. And like I was talking about with the different markers and stuff that you can color with, this was actually embossed in just silver. So it was just done in the silver Renea and it was taken with, you could do um, your, your uh, Spectrum Noirs, you know, your different permanent markers, Sharpies, um, especially the ones from Sizzix. So these will actually even work too. So you can just put them onto your slick surfaces and they're going to dry. So let me show you how to do the Renea paper. Okay, so we're actually going to do one of the mosaic gems. And we're going to do it on the silver side. So you just put your, your paper in there. And then run it through. And I wanted to show you just how easy it is just to color. A lot of people really love this technique. And it's so simple that even the kids, you know, they can do it and, and just have a really good time um, doing all different kinds of coloring. And even the gold side of this is just beautiful. It's just beautiful. Then you just take your markers and you can color away. So you can take your fine tip or your um, the broad end and then you just, this is just the green, 
just kind of wanted a soft color. And you don't need to press very hard. But you can see just how pretty that that green turned out. And so, like I said, you can take all your different markers and you can have just a great time doing all different kinds of coloring with these. Isn't that beautiful? And here are just a couple more um, that I wanted to show you. But like I said, they just look so stunning, you know, when they pop. And let me grab those really quick. And so if you take just like your solid copper um, papers uh, from Renea, but you wanted to give it just the edges as a Tim Holtz, you can use the Foundry um, 3D folder. And there was an older one that looks similar to this and just the regular embossing. Um, this is one of our, um, it's the treasure trunk. And this is one of our um, kits that you can get as well. And we're gonna start putting those online. And, but just does makes that edge just pop. I mean, it is just stunning how it makes that edge just pop. And so this is just another way that you can use them. And it forms really easily, you know, to the shape that you're working with. Forms really, really well. And then this is one of the folders that, you know, that you can use if you wanted a different texture on there. You know, if you want kind of a, you know, kind of a guy theme or whatever, you can do the gold, you can do it embossed, debossed. Um, that's just another way you can cut the strips and then emboss them. Don't emboss first and then cut. You want to cut and then emboss. And I just think this one is really pretty. So if your paper moves around, you know, just kind of center it. And you can kind of hold it down with your thumb so it keeps everything from the inside moving as you slide the cutting plate or the cutting pad on top. I just think that when you when you emboss, it's just instant gratification. I mean, I mean, just look how cute that is, and just elegant. And just add something. You can add a little band. You can add your word. Um, you can add a little bit of glitter if you wanted to. So these are really just great embossing folders. Um, I want to do a couple more because these are just stunning once you see them. Um, the other one first I want to show you is the leaf pattern. Now I'm not gonna actually do the leaf one because you're gonna see it here in this background here for the uh, the Feathered Friends and the Funky Wreath. There's also the um, uh, the media marks. And so there's different, different shapes here that are used just to kind of fill in. And this is the Funky Wreath and then the Feathered Friends die. But you can see just really how pretty that the it makes that background just pop when you're um, you know, using the 3D folders or the regular embossing folders. I just love them. So let me show you a couple more. And here's another one that's just stunning when you emboss it. So we're gonna take this embossing folder, put it in here, and then fold it again. But I think the great thing about it is actually seeing when you open it up after you've embossed it. Oops, let's get that cutting plate back on there. So seeing it, um, you know, right when you open it up is just so fun, I think. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, that's just stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. So there's just so many different options that you can have. And then there was just one more that I wanted to show you too. Okay, we're gonna do that um, poinsettia one. Just in the silver. This is the regular, um, the metallic cardstock that we sell. And so that one is in the silver. So the other thing that I wanted to kind of share with you too, and I'm not gonna really do it today because we've done it before, is the different way. This is called the emboss and transfer set. The emboss and transfer set. And what that is, it's basically, it's a silicone rubber, and the impressions pad all sold in one kit. And so what can you do with it? Okay, after you've die cut your dies, 
You see all the little pieces that are in there inside the die? You can actually run your piece through there with the silicone rubber and the impressions pad. Be sure you follow the proper directions. And then you can actually emboss the inside of the, um, the die itself. And so if you wanted to take something and just kind of deboss it, you could take the die and just deboss it into your cardstock, just like that. Or you can emboss it, whatever you want to do. So you can take your dies and emboss them. And then this one here is just taking some of the regular dies and debossing them into the front of like a metallic paper too. And so there's just really beautiful different ways that you can use it. And I highly recommend that you get that. Um, we also have these bundle deals and they're called bundles of therapy and we have a ton of them. And we have some that have like the cutting plates with the embossing transfer set. We've got different die sets, 3D folders, um, you know, sequins and beads and glitter and embossing powders. And so not really gonna go through the embossing powder part of it. And that's with using the heat tool and gun, but you've already probably seen those before. Let's let me stand that little guy up. There we go. And this one here, this one is a different folder. I'm not sure where it came from. Um, a friend of mine made this, but just look how elegant that that is. Um, and so you can really make things just pop. So enjoy these. Enjoy making some really quick, simple cards. Simple, um, you know, embossing using 3D impresslets, 3D folders, um, regular impresslets, regular embossing folders. But they just make everything pop. We so much hope you enjoyed this today. And thank you and happy holidays and happy shopping. Hi everybody, Joyce here from my craft room. Thanks so much for stopping by today. I appreciate it. I'm sure you're all busy with holiday prep and last minute gifts and cards and all that stuff. So I do really appreciate it. I also would like to say uh, another very, very special thank you to everybody at Stamp and Scrapbook Expo for all their hard work putting these events on. So thank you guys. I had to think long and hard um, about this one, given the point in the calendar that we're at, trying to think of something that would be useful for you, um, fun for you, and of course, a good deal for you. Um, and this is what I came up with. These are a set of five cards that I designed using these beautiful washi tapes from Altenew. Now they've all got some gold foiling in them, so they all work actually really nicely together. This is called Golden Strokes, and even though it looks pretty even right here in the package, when you unroll it, and I've got an open one here, you'll see that there is some variation in the striping, which makes it kind of fun. This one is Misty Meadows. This is, and both of these actually are about four and a half inches wide. Um, there's about 11 yards on all three. So you get tons of washi tape. Misty Meadows, when you unroll it, looks like this. I guess that's kind of upside down. Lots of beautiful green and gold foliage. Really pretty. And last but not least is our Glitter Flurries washi. This is a favorite of mine. All these pinks and purples and golds. Really, really pretty. 
couple things about washi tape. Obviously, it's pretty thin. It tears easily. It is pretty repositionable, at least initially. Um, but if you put it down the wrong way, you can get some little bubbles in it. So here's my tip. Take a piece of cardstock, preferably a little wider than you need it. And then I like to take the end and just turn it under just a little so it'll kind of stay put. And that way you can lay your cardstock right down on top easily. Now, if in spite of that you still get little wrinkles, not a problem. You just rub it with your finger and they will rub right out. And so you'll have a nice smooth piece. I almost always apply my washi tape to white cardstock. Because it's so translucent, if I put it on another color, let's say I put this Misty Meadows on green, it wouldn't be quite so white. Now, see, that's how you get a nice wrinkle. But it, it's not as white, and I'm not sure if that's going to read um, for you on the camera, but you kind of lose the whiteness of it. So I like to apply it to a piece of white cardstock first, and then cut the whole thing as much as I need. And did you see how easily that pulled off of there? So that's what I'm doing today. And the idea here, of course, you can use these washi tapes however you like. But we put together a bundle of these three rolls and five of these A2 size clear boxes. They fold up just like that. There's five cards and envelopes in here right now. I'm sure you could fit a couple more if you wanted to. But I was thinking these would make a great last minute gift, quick and easy to put together. And with the special bundle price of $39 on this, you know, that's less than $8 a gift. So you're doing pretty good, I would say. Of course, you don't have to do them like that. You can just use the washi tape for whatever you like for your own cards, thank you cards, Valentine's Day cards, whatever you want. But that was kind of the idea. So we're including the three rolls of the tape and the five card boxes in the bundle for $39. And that's about 30% off of what it would normally cost. Um, we're also going to include pictures of these cards. So you've got something to look at um, if you just kind of have a bad crafting moment and can't come up with any ideas. This is what I did. For this one, I simply took a white card base, cut a five and a quarter by four inch mat out of gold mirror card, another mat out of the white cardstock cut to five by three and three quarters, took my washi tape, my glitter flurries washi tape, laid it out on a piece of cardstock just like that. And while it's easy to tear, you might want to cut it just because you don't want to waste any by tearing the edges if you don't have to. What you can do is just easily fold those edges back so you don't have to recut everything. And now you've got a nice edge on that cardstock. But in this case, what I did was then I cut out the section of the tape that is this little spray and just glued it right down on the front of my card. So you've got plenty of room to add an, uh, a sentiment if you want. You could add, you know, sequins, rhinestones, however fancy you want to get. Um, but this is pretty darn quick, and you can sit in front of the TV and fussy cut washi tape all night long if you want to. Doesn't take a whole lot of thinking. 
So that was card idea number one. Then I took two of the f other flowers that are on this same tape, fussy cut those, and found this larger bloom on the Misty Meadows tape. Fussy cut those, took a piece of the Golden Strokes, laid that across a piece of white cardstock, cut that down so that it would fit on my panel of gold mirror card, stuck it together, and there's card number two. Then I had a, a good piece of leftover washi tape, so I cut it out, put it on um, a piece of white card, and then with my paper trimmer just cut little half inch strips. I kept them in order, it was pretty easy to put them back in order, and then glued them down onto a piece of gold mirror card just kind of eyeballing a little empty space in between each strip. Uh, then all I had to do was glue that on my purple card front and I die cut happy birthday. This is one of the pink fresh dies. This one is the uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, classic words die set. And there's happy birthday. They all, all of these are wonderful. They come with the shadow as well. I didn't use that on this card, but um, I love these sentiments. They're just great. So if you need sentiments, this is a good way to go. Um, so that was it. And really, I used very little washi tape because I was just, you know, using what I had in front of me. Then I took the Misty Morning, covered um, a piece of five and a quarter by four inch cardstock. Then I took a strip of the Golden Strokes, put that on a piece of white cardstock, cut it to four inches wide, and put it down on top of the um, Misty Morning. Found a couple of little elements from the um, Misty Morning washi tape to cut out, to fussy cut, popped them up with some foam squares, and that was done. Again, couldn't be easier, and really couldn't be much faster. This one, and I'm gonna just show you how I did this. You're just gonna take your washi tape and a piece of cardstock, as big as you want the panel to be, and just position it so that you're covering up the two corners. And I just folded it back, folded this over. Folded that over. You can just snip that little corner off. Rub out any little wrinkles you might get. And there you go, whichever way. And all I did was take a narrow little strip of gold mirror card, butted it right up against the washi tape. Then I took some of my leftover Misty Morning Washi Tape and die cut Hello, which is done with this Pink Fresh die. Die cut that right out of the washi tape and pop that right on the card. Pretty simple, pretty quick. Um, these are gonna ship right away so you don't have to be too concerned about needing more time for them to get to you. Um, everything's in stock. Oh, I know one other thing I wanted to mention. Of course, if you do want to give these as a gift to somebody, certainly you can add sentiments to all of the cards. You also have the option to leave them blank and let the uh, person getting this lovely gift 
just write their sentiment inside, assuming they're not a card maker. But if you want to include sentiments, I wanted to show you this if you're not familiar with it. This is from Altenew. This is the Sentiment Strips 2 set, and there are just loads of sentiments on here. Just for you, stay brave, hello there, thank you, I knew you could do it, sweet baby, sending healing hugs, let's celebrate, have a super day, congratulations, um, I appreciate, appreciate your kindness. Thoughts of you make me smile. Isn't that a nice sentiment? So if you do need sentiments, this is a great one. I just wanted to make sure you saw that. Okay. Um, the boxes couldn't be easier. Like I said, they're A2 size. They are half an inch thick when they're all put together. They're all obviously pre-scored. You're just going to fold everything down. And it'll go right together. And then we do include little stickers for you, little clear stickers that you can use to um, attach. I should have folded that in first. Um, to the boxes to hold them together if you don't want to do ribbon like I did. But they just pop together. And again, they're for four and a quarter by five and a half inch cards. Just like that. There's five of them included in the bundle, as, as, uh, in addition to the, the three rolls of washi tape. These two, <clears throat> these two normally sell for $19.99 each. This one is uh, $10.99. So again, you're getting a pretty good deal. Um, and hey, if washi tape is not on your hit list this weekend, this week, weekend, I forget what day it is, um, be sure to go to mycraftroom.com and have a look around. Um, there's lots of other things from all to new and loads from Pink Fresh, Honey Bee, uh, Creative Expressions, 2D Designs, Dyes, um, Thermoweb. We have loads of foiling products from Thermoweb. Definitely you want to check those out if you haven't already. Um, what else? Just, oh, Gina K. Catherine Pooler. I knew I was forgetting somebody. Anyway, um, we are doing a coupon for this event. It's 20% off everything at mycraftroom.com um, except for kits like this and our heat laminators. You, all you have to do is put the code EXPO20, E-X-P-O-2-0, in the coupon box when you're checking out and you'll save 20% on your order. Um, like I said, the kits I'm not including because this one in particular has already been heavily, heavily discounted. Um, I think you'll enjoy it if you haven't played with washi tape before. It's worth a try. You're going to wonder why you hadn't tried it much sooner. Like I said, there's 11 yards on uh, each of these rolls, so you've got oodles and oodles of washi tape to last you for a good long while. Uh, thank you again, everybody, for stopping by. We wish you all the very happiest of holidays and are really looking forward to seeing you again soon, online or in person, whatever, whatever the future holds for us all. So have a great holiday. Thank you so much again, and we will see you soon. Bye.
Welcome back, everybody. And I'll tell you what, Dave at Rubberneck, you know, there there are neighbors up here, but, you know, like he said, they're going to be I moving know. to Tennessee. So but the, it looks like they have a beautiful place. And, and we'll get to see them on the road. So they're, they're only moving... Um, to Tennessee, they're going to be still doing our shows next year, right. and, and but you know um, they have some the most beautiful stamps. But Don't those they? watercolor techniques, I mean, it, it's amazing how that layering. You know, I started doing the the layering of stamps, and um, I kind of you know I started it, and then we went from flower season to holiday season. So I'll be getting back into that again, but. Um, I like how, you know, with the watercolors, what he was doing with the stamp is he was almost, you know, he was literally painting the stamp I know. with certain colors and just kept layering it. And it, it just, I mean, it was, it's, it didn't look like a stamp. It looked like literally a watercolor, like a, a work of art, like he had painted. So I, seriously, I could watch that all day. Yeah. I don't know. It just <laughs> is so like calming and he's so good. Like you said, it. Um, just the added dimension of yeah. how he used the color burst and then added if you do like he was saying you know the more you add it's kind of lighter the yeah you kind of more water it. or with the watercolor paper yeah. and yeah. it was just beautiful you know at home I love rubbernecker and I have a lot of their stamps and dyes sets and I actually was I made some cards with the girl I can't remember the name of it, but it's like a winter, and yes. she has like a co hot cocoa in her hand. Oh, yeah. I've been doing, I yes. did that one. I mean, I, a few of them. So go to the website, because there is also amazing, a bunch of beautiful, like the flowers, of course, the watercolors. Oh, yes. yeah. But they have so many stamps and dyes and sentiments and beautiful, beautiful stamps, and they're so nice. And I know that you love and I love the little inks. Yes, um, the, the color fuse inks color are so, inks. they're so easy Amazing. to use. The best. I mean, it's, and I love them because they come in the packs and they're all they're yes. color, color coordinated is what I call it. It's kind of a, like a no-brainer. Yeah. You know, it's, you know, it's yes. just, I love um, layering with the color. Exactly. Why do I always want to say the wrong thing? Color fuse. Color fuse. <laughs> those, those There's a lot of color stuff. <laughs> are so affordable. They are, like Dave was saying, they're packaged so you know what's light to yes. medium to dark. And if you love doing those layers, it's like so... Exactly. Yeah. And, and I've even used those um, in, because um, I didn't have the, um, the blending brush, I've even used those to do a little bit of background on some of my papers too. Oh so yeah, I have too. Yeah. So really easy to use. But um, I actually, yesterday, I was using one of the Rubbernecker, uh, they had a uh, three pack of different types of, uh, of uh, Christmas trees or pine trees, and I actually was stamping with one last night. So See, there I you know. Go. <laughs> we just love, I know. And, and cr talk about crisp clear detailed stamps too so yes. that means that that is a quality stamp so. exactly and I've been wanting to visit Nashville so hey there I'm you go. sure now I can visit you know this beautiful <laughs> family exactly. well, out there. we'll yes. need to go there for curbside because they have done curbside here for us I yes so. that's what I'm gonna miss because <laughs> they do frequently come in and it was so nice to see them you yes. know when they would visit so yes. but I'm happy that they're gonna have that yes beautiful oh, beautiful place yes. and, and um, so yes. but um, we want to wish them well and totally. boy they'll be already they'll have time to get uh, all their I'd love to see their operations sometimes I know that would be so neat <laughs> like a tour of their how they have their little yes. I mean all their stuff yes yeah. exactly okay so rubbernecker all watercolor floral stamps will be 20 percent 20 to 40 percent off all color burst sets are reduced from thirty five to twenty two ninety five, which is that's a great deal. Yes. Liquid watercolor sets are reduced from thirty dollars to twenty two ninety five. Wow. And all sentiment stamps are thirty percent off. Wow. Wow. And that's from December twelfth through the sixteenth. So that is a really good deal. Yeah. All orders that total three hundred and up will receive fifteen percent discount. All orders 200 to 299 will receive 10% discount, and all orders 100 to 199 will receive a 5% discount at checkout. So there's no coupon code, and the offer will expire on December 16th. 
So you have a few days, yeah. and man, that is easy to do. <laughs> it is, it is. So go visit um, Dave and Dave and his wife and his son, and that's yes. you know that's Rubbernecker. So a great a great small family business that you want to support exactly. for sure. So go visit them. So right. so thank you and um, safe travels, and we'll see you soon <laughs> on Rubbernecker. So yes. And then we have you know Miss Maria from It's Cheaper Than Therapy. You know, she always shows us some great items and techniques. And the embossing folders, the three, know. you know, those deep 3D embossing, you know, that embossing um, was great. And, you know, that embossing, it adds, it literally is like adding a layer to all of your cards and everything. Exactly. And um, I, one thing I do, I love about uh, the Big Shot, the platform, is it shows you um, that I call them the different sandwiches that you need to use. So are you using the right sandwich? You know, you're using the right meat and cheese to make the right sandwich. I guess exactly. you could say because you, you know you want to. You want it's one of those things where you you want to use the right tool for two reasons. One is um, you don't want to get halfway through, especially on the electric machine, and get it stuck like somebody has before. Um, but also you want it to be that crisp, clear image. Of that, and I love the um, the embossing and the cutting all in one. Um, I know. I love fine. I love that. Um, I have a a couple um, that I had bought previously. Gosh, I think two years ago, and I love using them uh, because it's so simple. And then you can. So what I do too is that little piece that cuts out. I always save those and can use them on another project or even that project. Exactly. So, and um, I'm feeling like I need that electric big shot. I, I know. I know she said the name. <laughs> I'm like, how cool! You mean you have to? She was just running it through, and then you, it goes back, and then it went forward. That is really yes. amazing. I know you've used it before. You, I've gotten you loved stuck it. Bus. Yeah. <laughs> but it still was easy to, to fix, and it was yeah. really nice. I. To love the impresslets. I I love that ornament that she had, yes. and then using the Rania foil, uh, foil paper, it just pops that. I can imagine having like tags made out of that. I would even make ornaments. I I have to say I cut out some Renea paper for the first time um, on beautiful. a couple of days ago, yeah. and I loved it because um, uh, I I I ran it through and. Um, the paper it ge it even like gave some texture to it. Right. So and it's and it gorgeous. looked beautiful. Yes. Yes, I love it. And it's double sided, so you don't have to you know right. worry about all that. And then I also love how you can color on the Renia paper. Yes. So like she showed that. Beautiful. That embossing folder was awesome, and then you can color you know, and they have they have markers now, which is great. Yes. And oh, they, physics says yeah. Yeah. The, the permanent pens. That's yes. awesome to do that. Also, those adhesive sheets to make yeah. anything a sticker. Exactly. That is really neat for those really intricate, like, dies that you have and you mm -hmm. want to cut a lot of them. Yes. I think that would be so, like, so much easier than having to use your liquid glue or whatever. Yeah, to try. Yeah, it's, but the smaller parts, you know, it is. It's one of those challenges where you're always trying to figure out what do I use so it doesn't spew over or, you know, um, and because, you know, uh, as thing, you know, there have been so many intricate things that we're using now, uh, the dyes and everything to try to, try to do. So, exactly. a it's great product. Maria, girl, you have the greatest things yeah. on your website. <laughs> yes. I am just addicted to all of the Sizzix dyes. I love dyes. I know... I, you know, we all have our machines that we favor, yeah. but I still love a good a good dye. Yeah. And Sizzix dyes are so so beautiful and amazing. They have she has so much on her website. So go to her website yes. and right now the show special is thirty percent off Sizzix, Elizabeth Craft Designs, Renia, VZ Crafts, and it's cheaper than therapy. No coupon code is needed. Spend $100 after discount, you're going to receive a free Sizzix Tim Holtz 3D folder. Spend $200 after discount, receive a 10-piece blending brush set while supplies last. Yeah. So, there's tons of bundles of therapy deals. There so, you go. <laughs> if you spend $50, you're going to have free domestic shipping. And the offer will expire on 
Uh, December 18th. There you go. We all love free shipping. It's like uh, yes. that extra Christmas. Because then you could buy more. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So when I look at it, I'm like, free shipping? Oh, okay, I could good. Say, yeah, or what can I buy with that? So yes, we, exactly. That's nice. That's that's a very that's a great deal to have. So. Right. So thank you, Miss Maria, and um, love seeing you. Uh, she's all getting out and about. So I see her on Facebook, too. So. I know. I so love go her. visit Miss Maria, and... It is cheaper than therapy, that's for sure. So. Right. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. And my craft room, I, you know, those big rolls of washi I know. tape. It's, uh, to me, it's like literally like wallpaper uh -huh. or it's like wrapping paper. <coughs> and, you know, she took that one, you know, and putting it on the white uh, cardstock, which is a great tip because right. you want to be able to see that. But, you know, she took that and showed so many different ways to do it. Um, you know, cutting this corner, cutting that corner, using this strip, cutting strips, just out of, you know, the, the piece and um, uh, uh, of that. And also, um, I like the, she has those clear boxes for cards. Those are so nice. And um, I believe that uh, you can use those for mailing as well to use right. your strips. So. I know. And so nice. um, she has so many uh, great, uh, great product lines. Um, as well, um, she has uh, the Altenew Pink Fresh Thermo Web. She has a lot, has a ton of Thermo Web uh, foil products on there. Um, Honey Bee, those are great products I as well. I love Honey Bee. Yeah, um, me too. Yes, <laughs> I know. Yes. Gina K. So, oh, um, so she's got so many of the great brands. Um, uh, that she carries um, on her website as well and uh, she always has you know um, I always love it when people can take just w you know like one item and show you how to create all kinds of different things and right I know I and, do too. and what a great thing to be able to sit and you know try different different um, looks or techniques or you know take the washi tape and try this or you know that. I love so. how she used the washi tape and she fussy cut the flower that was on the washi tape and then she layered it and then also how she showed the card using her leftover pieces you know and yes. how pretty I mean nothing goes to waste and everything it was so beautiful and elegant and yes I love that too you know mm -hmm. and it was I cannot wait to go on the website because like you were saying the pink fresh she I love yeah. that stamp set that she showed or the die set of yes. the, with the sentiment just amazing, amazing stuff. Yeah, yeah, right. And, and she had a great bundle. I think is that exactly. one of her show specials. Yes. So, uh, save twenty percent off site wide wow. at mycraftroom.com. Wow, that's you get twenty percent off a ton of companies. Exactly. Products, so. Okay, it doesn't include the kits and the laminators. So that's right. a good price already. So you're gonna not want to miss that. That's amazing. But twenty percent off of everything else, like you were saying, Pink Fresh and yeah, Gina K, Honey, Honey Bee, Bee all Thermo those. Web, yeah, wow. all those great things. So that is amazing. So the coupon code is Expo Twenty, and that will expire on December twentieth. So oh, wow, wow. Now, gosh, December twentieth. Don't we have something special coming up? December 20th. We Vicky do. Dill. Yes, we Vicky do. Vicky is going to grab a box here. We have one of our awesome, awesome mega make a take. Make, but let me say that again. Mega make a. <laughs> Mega, mega make, make and take <laughs> extravaganzas. It's like I haven't seen the box of a thousand months. But um, uh, this is our December 20th box, everybody. And it is filled, isn't it, Miss Vicky oh, Dill? Oh, you're going to. You're going to love a ton of projects, yes. and that's coming up on the 20th. Yes, so, on the 20th. Yes, yeah, so if you haven't already um, picked one of those up, you will want to go to the shop at homeevents.com, and so we can get one of these shipped out to yep. you as well. And you see, Vicki, how do we protect this beautiful box? We offer a, a protective box for the outside with just a dollar ninety nine more so that this will come intact we won't tape your box or anything it'll just be in that protective box and that's how it'll be sent to you awesome. and look at how adorable so if you've been collecting yeah. all of our megas you have now probably done a whole row on your shelf there you go. <laughs> exactly. and they're so cute look at the my scrap stash and you know you have you get in there the button that goes with this 
And also the paper keeper. And it matches the box. So, yep. you know, for some of you who've gotten different ones, we include some different of the paper keepers because we all need storage and you get a matching button. Yep. So those lanyards will be filling up with all those buttons too. So Exactly. So you want to go and grab one of those so we can get it shipped out to you because December 20th, is coming up very soon. Oh my goodness, that's And there's scary. an add-on kit to this one too oh, on the webpage. Oh, there is an add-on kit. There's yes. an add-on kit, so that's exciting. I love add-ons. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. So get your box and we will be back after our next set of presentations. Hi everyone, I'm Janos Makula from Pretty Pink Posh. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm very excited to be here with you for the stamp and scrapbook at home event. Super excited to bring you some inspiration with the amazing Pretty Pink Posh products. Today we're going to be making these Christmas gift card holder cards. Now these are, there's a, they can hold a gift card. These are fantastic as last minute Christmas gifts and cards. So let's get started. The idea is to create an easy gift card holder card or cards without the use of specialty supplies. All you need is a stamped image and a coordinating die to cut it out. We will use that to partially hide the gift card on our card. I have images from two stamp sets here, the Holiday Signs. This is an adorable set with cute critters holding a blank sign where you can add a custom sentiment. I'll be using a Santa and also a signpost for my cards, but other images are just as cute. And what's awesome about this set is you already have several sentiment options to place inside that blank sign. And they, of course, are sized perfectly. You have Happy Holidays, Happy Winter, if you want to make a winter card, not necessarily Christmas. You also have Season's Greetings, Merry Wishes, Christmas Cheer, Winter Wishes, Let It Snow, and of course, a traditional Merry Christmas. So a really fun and versatile set for Christmas and winter cards alike. The other set that I have here is the Joy set. Now I'm only going to use two little accents from here, the candy cane and an ornament. I love to add little decorative elements to my cards and this set has lots of fun pieces for Christmas and winter projects to help you dress up your cards. And of course, that large Joy is just fantastic, but we're not going to be using it today. I am using a Misty Stamp Positioner tool to help me get a perfect impression and I'm going to stamp these using Memento Tuxedo Black ink onto Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock. I do like to stamp my images several times to get that perfect crisp black outline and I can easily do that with the help of a Stamp Positioner tool. The next step is, of course, coloring. I like to color with Copic markers. I find them to be quick and quite easy to use. And I often go for simple coloring using two or three shades for a nice blend. I'm going to start by coloring Santa's face. And I'm using E000 to color the entire face in. And then adding shading using E00 marker. And also using this same color to color his nose. I want to add some blush to his cheeks, so for that I'm using an R20 marker. I have a bit of bleeding happening here, now that's because I didn't give the ink any time to dry, and I went straight to coloring, plus I stamped the image like three or four times, so I have a lot of ink here. Now I can fix that bleeding using a white pen, that easily takes care of any problems, and here we go, looks as good as new. Next, I'm going to color Santa's hat and outfit and also the signpost and the candy cane red. For that, I'm using the R20 marker as my lightest color. Next, I'm adding R22 to the candy cane and to the signpost. And also adding a little bit of shading using R27. And finally, adding my darkest red, R39. Now I'm not coloring the Santa in the same way, as for the Santa I will actually go from dark to light. This will help me avoid having my markers bleed, as these areas that I'm coloring here are super tiny. 
So going from R39 to R27 to R22 and blending everything in using my latest R20 marker. Next, I'm using W5, W3, and W1 markers to color his shoes. Also using W1 marker to add shading to the white areas on his hat, his beard, and his mittens. Now, as for the signpost, I'm using a C1 and C3 markers to add shading to the white stripes, just adding that on the left hand side to help the signpost appear slightly dimensional, and doing the same for the candy cane and for the ornament. The stripe in the middle will be white, so I am adding shading to that stripe using my light gray marker. Next, I want to make the blank sign that Santa is holding. I want it to look like it is made out of wood. And to do that, I'm using flick style coloring and four brown markers, starting with the E31, my lightest, and I'm using this marker to make longest flicks on the paper. I like to turn my paper and always apply flicks in one direction. That is easier for me. It's easier for my hand this way. Next, I'm using E39 marker and repeating the same steps, but making the flicks slightly shorter this time. So I'm trying to color so that the center portion of the sign is the lightest and the sides are the darkest. I'm also keeping the center portion quite light as that's where I want to have a sentiment and I want it stamped in black. So I need the background to be fairly light. Next, using E37 and again, adding more flicks, darker flicks, but shorter flicks. And finally, my using my darkest marker here, E79, to add the darkest flicks, the shortest flicks to the sign. I'm using a very light hand when adding the flicks to the paper. I can also go back to E33 marker and extend the flicks a little bit further in if needed. Now, this is probably the easiest way to color wood grain texture using Copic markers. It might look complicated, but it really is quite easy to do, and I encourage you to give it a try. And if you don't want your sign to look like it is made out of wood. You can just keep it white and maybe add some shading to the edges using a couple of gray markers. Next, I used several green markers to color that ornament. I used YG03, YG17, and YG67. I wanted to add just a pop of green to my card and coloring an ornament green seemed to work perfectly well for this idea. I cut my images out using coordinating dies. I did that off camera. And now I have my little Santa back in my Misty tool. And I'm just going to stamp a sentiment inside his sign. The sentiment that I picked reads Happy Holidays. And I'm stamping that in black using Versafine Onyx Black ink to get that perfect black impression. We have our images ready. Now we need to make a background for our card and a slot to house the gift card in. I'm going to use our gorgeous Snowflakes stencil. It measures almost six inches square, so perfect size for an A2 card. I love to use my stencils as embossing tools, so I'm going to dry emboss the background for my card. It is very easy to do. You just need a die cutting machine and an embossing mat. I have my Spellbinders Platinum 6 die cutting machine and this tan embossing mat here. This is basically a rubber mat that is used to emboss with dies, but can also be used to emboss with other tools such as stencil. So very cool. Now the sandwich for the platinum machine is the following. You have base platform, then your tan embossing mat, then you place your cardstock panel that you want to emboss, then you add the stencil on top and you cover that with an embossing plate. If you are using a different die-cutting machine, you'll need to check the instructions for your machine to see what sandwich you build to dry emboss. So this is a sandwich to dry emboss with dies, but it also works for dry embossing with stencils. If you've never tried this, I, I encourage you to give it a try. It's a really cool technique that really helps you to stretch your supplies. And the next step is super easy. Just send it through the machine to apply pressure and emboss the paper. Let's look at the result. I think it looks fantastic. Very subtle, the white on white, that always looks great, but it adds a very beautiful texture to the background.
you have the embossed, the raised side, and also the debossed side. Now, sometimes depending on the stencil design, the debossed side looks cool as well. But for this particular design, we're going to use the embossed side for our card. Now, here is another example with a twist to using this stencil. I embossed it on some aqua cardstock. I applied white pigment ink over the embossing. And then I also shifted my stencil and applied another layer of snowflakes to create this blizzard like look. Now, it's very easy to do. And you, if you prefer a more elaborate background like this one, let me show you how to make it. It's very easy. So here I have a panel of light blue cardstock. I've already dry embossed it like I just showed you. I repositioned my stencil directly over the embossing. I have an ink blending tool and white pigment ink, and I'm going to press the ink rather heavy handedly onto the paper through the stencil. Now I'm not blending, I'm not doing the circular motion that you usually do when you blend, but rather I'm just loading my ink blending tool with ink and then pressing that ink onto the paper through the stencil. My stencil is not taped in place, I'm just holding it with one hand. I find I don't need to tape it, I can just as easily hold it in place. As I lift the stencil, you can see the beautiful snowflake design. So I now not only have embossing on my background, but I've also added ink to help the embossed snowflakes stand out a bit on the background. Next, I'm going to turn my stencil and rotate it slightly and ink blend more snowflakes onto the background. Now this time I'm using a very light hand and pressing just lightly to get lighter colored snowflakes on my background. And this creates that beautiful wintry snowflake blizzard look. I think it is just stunning and it was quite easy to make. You can also go back in and add more snowflakes here and there where you feel you need to add more. So create whichever background you prefer, a cleaner and simpler one that is just white on white or a slightly more elaborate one with some added ink blending. Next, I wanted to add a snowy hill to my card and also add an additional sentiment. I picked a sentiment from our holiday greetings stamp set and I'm stamping one that reads sending you Christmas cheer. It's a two part sentiment. So I have the Christmas cheer and I'll add the little one that says sending you. And just like I did before, I'm using my mini Misty to do the stamping and I'm also using the Versafine Onyx Black ink. I trimmed this sentiment to be about two and a half inches wide and I'm going to use my scissors next to add a slope at the top. I don't want this to be a straight rectangle or square. I want there to be a hill. So I just cut a hill using my scissors and it's so easy to do. Now, of course, you can use a Hills die if you want, and Pretty Pink Posh offers several wonderful options for you to choose from. I'm just a little bit old school, and I often like to use my scissors for simple cuts like these. Now that we have all of our parts and pieces ready, we can assemble the card. This is the card layout that I have in mind. The gift card will hide behind the Santa and the signpost and will also partly hide behind the sentiment panel. The gift card will slide into my background. Now, before I adhere anything down, I need to cut a slit in my panel for the gift card to slide in. I'm going to trace the sentiment panel using a pencil and that will give me an idea of where I need to make the cut. I'm using my paper trimmer to make this slit in the paper just using a craft knife to do that. And this is what it looks like. The gift card can easily go in and out. So we have our basic construction ready. Now we just need to disguise the cut and build our card. I used a pencil eraser and quickly erased that pencil line. We no longer need it on the card. Next, I'm going to use foam adhesive squares and foam mount the sentiment panel on the background. I'm being careful here and mindful so that foam squares do not cover the cut line so that I'm not actually gluing it shut. I'm making sure that foam squares are all placed under that cut line so that I can easily insert the gift card into the card. Next, I can add my Santa and signpost. 
Now I die cut identical shapes from white cardstock. I didn't do any stamping. I just used the coordinating dies and I'm going to use foam adhesive squares to pop the colored shapes onto those blank shapes. This will add dimension to my die cuts, but will still allow me to insert the gift card into my card without the die cuts being adhered to the card. And I'm doing the same here for the signpost. I've married the two shapes together. I have the signpost going slightly behind my Santa. And now I've added just a touch of glue onto the bottom part of the signpost and behind Santa's feet. And that is what's going to hold these die cuts in place. And that's actually quite enough. Once the glue dries, these will be firmly adhered onto the card and I'll be able to slide the gift card in and out easily. It's been a few minutes, so the glue is dry and I can try adding the gift card in. And it works like a charm. Now, whenever I build these gift card type cards, gift card holder cards, I like to regularly check if the gift card still goes into the card. You don't want to spend all this time building your beautiful project just to discover that you've added too much glue somewhere and you no longer can insert your gift card in. So better to double check a couple of times. I've also added the candy cane and the little ornament to the top part of the signpost. I think it adds a little bit of character to this card. Now I have an A2 side folding card base ready. So this card measures four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And I'm going to adhere my background to the card. You do have to be careful here and only add adhesive around the perimeter of your panel. Otherwise, once again, your gift card will have nowhere to go. So see where I've added the double-sided tape? I did add some above the slit, but no tape under the slit, just a piece on the perimeter of the panel so that the gift card doesn't fall out. So we're basically keeping a pocket space under the slit to house the gift card in. And that's what it looks like. The gift card can easily go in, and out. The best part about this type of cards is when you take the gift card out, the card still looks complete. It doesn't look like it's missing something. I'm using our Pretty Pink Posh jewels. These are in color ivory and here I've scattered them around my card just to add a little bit of sparkle to this project. I even added one little jewel to Santa's hat. So here's a look at the two Christmas gift card holder cards I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this segment and certainly do enjoy the rest of the show. Bye! Well, thank you for joining CraftOnlineUSA.com for the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo live event. Uh, we're going to be going through a few things. Um, one, we're going to be demoing our glitter misters um, and then our Solo Craft Ultra Fine Glitter. Uh, we're going to be going over some show specials. Uh, we're actually going to be doing some show specials that we did for Black Friday, uh, the event we did. We're going to extend those uh, for this weekend as well because they went over so well, like with our Sizzix sale. Um, our free glitter misters. We'll show you how you can get free glitter misters. And then uh, we're also going to be doing some discounts on our poppy craft delis that we have and stamps. Uh, but first, we're going to go over the glitter misters. A lot of people have seen this, but it's still a unique little way to use them. Uh, we're going to be using Nouveau Shimmer Powder from Tonic in the glitter misters. And then we're also going to be using the Solo Ultra Fine Glitter as well. Um, and when you buy these, this is how you're going to be able to get free glitter misters. So if you buy three or more glitters, we are going to automatically just send you one glitter mister for each color that you order. So if you order all 14 colors of glitter, uh, you're going to get 14 free glitter misters. So um, it's a pretty good value with these retail for $3.99 and we're just going to give them to you for free. So to start, we're going to just uh, get some strips of watercolor paper and then we're going to be using our new torn edge trimmer from Tim Holtz to be able to cut that, just so you can kind of see how this 
is going to work. Um, on the trimmer itself, you'll be able to see the blade is going to have, you know, a jagged portion to it. And that's going to create a little torn edge on the paper like that. It's really kind of cool. Uh, brand new, just started shipping a couple weeks ago. You just line your paper up, hold that down, and you can cut your little strips. And it'll, you know, kind of like the edge of the card, um, makes a really nice little torn edge. Kind of cool. So these are in stock and shipping. So if you want one of these, I believe the $34.99 or $33.99, one of the two. Um, but really cool and nice value for that. So this is just watercolor paper um, from the paper cut or you can use any watercolor paper out there, like 110 pound weight. And we're gonna take our, you know, cause it's getting close to Christmas, we're gonna use a gold color. Um, so we're gonna be using our golden sparkler, Shermer powder from Nuvo. And then we're gonna be using the, just the gold glitter from Solu Crafts. Now, what we're gonna do first is take the Shermer powder, and we're just going to spray the watercolor paper with the shimmer powder. And I recommend doing this in a little spray box, otherwise this will get all over and make your room a complete mess. And then just your spray water bottle, and you're gonna spray the paper, and that is going to react with the water. And you're gonna see how, as the powder absorbs the water, it's going to give it a nice spackly effect and make a nice background for a stamped image. Or if you're gonna be doing layering with your cards, you can do this as the first layer and then layer on top of that uh, for your cards. Um, so as that is drying, we'll actually just take some of the gold glitter and that will just add a little bit of a sparkle to the background image as well. So another way you can do that is, I'll just leave that there, take another piece of paper, and you're gonna wet the paper first. Um, that example, what we did is um, put the shimmer powder down first and sprayed it and then put the glitter down. This one, we're just gonna wet the paper, Take the shimmer powder, and you're gonna see a much different effect there. This is going to, in my opinion, gonna be more of a watercolor effect. The water is gonna already be on the paper as you spray the powder down. The water is going to absorb the powder, and it's not gonna be as spackly as this one. It is gonna just create a whole new effect. You could also, at that point, you know, spray some glitter down. Um, it's gonna bring out more of the colors in this example as well. So you could spray red glitter down or green. Um, there's a lot more options um, color-wise with this one. That's just a really cool effect. And, you know, it's just a light, basic background that you can do. And then uh, their new color, Jade Fountain. We'll just demo that one just so you can kind of see what that one is like. We'll do it both ways as well. Uh, spraying the paper first with the powder. And then we're just going to mist it with the water. And there's that one. To me, it's kind of a nice little um, pastel color. You know, Christmas isn't even here yet, but with, you know, Easter coming up, it'd be a great color for Easter. And then we're gonna do another example, uh, spraying the water first. And then spraying the powder on the water. And again, it's gonna create the same effect, the watercolor background. Uh, gonna bring out a lot more of the colors. And then, just because I mentioned Easter, we're going to 
do a couple like uh, the purple one. And I have managed to lose a little nozzle on this one for the purple one, but you, as you can see, it's still going to work. It's going to spray out, but you just can't direct it as much as you could with the nozzle on it. And then take the water. Pop a little glitter on there. And again, just a very nice light color. It's not going to be too in your face. Um, just a really neat, a neat way to use this product. And then don't forget, you can get free glitter misters with the purchase of three or more colors of the glitter. Now you're going to notice here, you're going to see five different white glitters. One of them is going to be a clear glitter called Diamond. Um, the others, this one's going to be Midnight Snow, uh, Crystal Sunset, that is the clear one. It's just, just basic clear glitter called Diamond. Uh, we have Purple Rain and Cotton Candy. So with these glitters right here, they're going to be very iridescent. When you put them on a dark piece of cardstock, I don't know if I have one. Oh, actually, I have a much better example. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this on the video. Um, I'll just kind of move this around as we're talking. You're going to see the purple rain is going to have some purple hues to it. Crystal sunset is going to have some of the yellowish. Cotton candy is going to have many different colors to it. And then the midnight soul is going to be blue with the white glitter. So they are um, pre-mixed. You don't have to do anything to get this effect. You put them on a black piece of cardstock, you are going to see that effect. Um, but if they're on white cardstock, it's, you're going to still kind of notice it, but it's not going to be as noticeable at that point. Um, but might not show up very well in the video, uh, but in person, you will be able to see them much better. So, um, but yeah, four different colors of the iridescent ones, one clear. And then we have nine of the other just um, different colors of glitter there for you as well. Um, so very ultra fine glitter, um, nice little product right there. So hopefully that makes sense on how to use the shimmer powder with the glitter mister. Uh, one thing I do want to mention now, uh, the reason we're doing this sale, you get a free glitter mister for every bottle of shimmer powder that were um, every bottle of glitter that you buy. The Solu Fine Ultra Fine Glitter is what's going to get you the free glitter mister. We're doing that because we recommend one glitter mister per color of glitter. Because um, once that glitter is in there, you're going to see it is on that nozzle. It's going to be all in there. So you're not going to really be able to reuse this bottle with any other color. A lot of people have tried and they get frustrated because they want to use a white glitter and they have a gold glitter in there. And that is going to, it's going to give you gold glitter and your white glitter constantly. Um, so do keep that in mind. That's why you're getting a free glitter mister. There is, you don't have to add these to the shopping cart. If you buy three or more, if you buy three of these glitters, we're going to send you three glitter misters for free. If you buy four glitters, you're going to get four free glitter misters. So don't add these to the shopping cart unless you want extra glitter misters. If you're buying them for the shimmer powders, because you will just automatically get free glitter misters when you're buying the Solu Craft Ultra Fine Glitter. So hopefully that makes sense. No coupon code necessary. Now we are going to, oh, one of the most popular items for our Black Friday event that we did um, is our bulk tapes. So we have um, three different sizes of hand tear tapes. Uh, that is going to be here. We have, um, and this is how they're going to come packaged. It's not, you know, it's not pretty, um, but it's a really good value for these things. You have three eighths, you have one fourth, and then you have one eighth. Now, with the hand tear adhesive, um, we are doing three rolls. So this is the three eighths. You're going to get three rolls for fifteen dollars. And I believe there's sixty yards. Don't quote me on that. Um, there's a lot of tape on it. Um, so 36 yards, actually, I'm sorry. So 36 yards, three rolls for 
Now the one eighth and the one fourth, you're gonna get three rolls in the little pack here, my high quality retail packaging. Um, so three of those for $10, the one eighth and the one fourth. So that is the Stickmaster hand tear tape. Uh, there's gonna be a link on the homepage of the website that's gonna bring you to the, um, all the products that we're talking about here. So like that new trimmer from Tonic, the adhesive from Stickmaster, the uh, glitter misters, the glitter, everything is gonna be right there so you really don't need to figure out how to find stuff. Um, the red line tape here, uh, we have one eighth and one fourth. Again, it's gonna be the same deal. Um, you're gonna get three in a package. So the one fourth, you're gonna get three of those for $20. And again, 36 yards on that roll. So you're getting 336, one fourth of an inch yard or one fourth of an inch rolls in the pack here for $20, three of those. And then the one eighth, you're gonna get three of these for $15. So a really nice value uh, on these. If you use a lot of tape, now if you don't use a lot of tape, we don't have them right here, but we have Stickmaster um, and the red line tape with the little rolls, a um, little bit cuter packaging. And if you just use it here and there, it's still a great deal, $1.99 for those. Um, but if you use a lot of tape, that is what I recommend because uh, you just cannot beat the price on that. So another, a uh, couple other things, these little ink applicators. Uh, they're effective, they work. We're doing three of these. So you get three packages for, oh, what did I think, uh, $5. So you get three of these for $5. That will also be on that link on the homepage. Uh, so make sure to take a look at that. Um, you can just add, I think we're gonna, we'll probably have um, just an assortment. You'll just get, you'll put the assortment of, you know, three of them in there for five bucks. And you'll just get three of those. If you order two of them, you'll get six of them. Um, at that point. So just keep that in mind. Uh, so if you're looking for these, you know, applicators, that's a really good deal on those uh, versus I think other places are like $3.99, $4.99, or even $5.99 for an ink applicator with, you know, a couple of those foam brushes. Um, so we have adhesive foil and our vinyl. So just basic colors, but really good value on these. Um, so the black and white is going to come, these are glossy, but we also have matte ones as well. Um, so you're going to get, this is um, an assortment. So you're going to get four of these. So you just add four of the glossy black or four of the matte black or one of each to your cart. And these are going to retail for, or on special, where it's, these were on Black Friday. They did very well, so we're doing it again. Um, the vinyl, four for $10, so two fifty dollars a piece on these when you get four or more. And then we also have the vinyl, so we have silver and gold. Uh, these are going to be four, so you can get four gold, four silver, or you can get two of each. Um, mix and match, you just have to get four of them for $15. So that is the vinyl, or the, that's the foil, it's, so it's adhesive foil and adhesive vinyl. Um, so really good values on those. And we'll keep moving along to go over some of these other specials. Oh, so if you've been to the expo shows and have seen us at them, we're newer in the past couple of years, so a lot of people have not seen us. We have the Poppy Craft dies. So these are just, I just pulled a random selection of some of the dies that we have. Um, they are an amazing price. Our most expensive die set that we have is, I want to say $22.99. Um, these are all going to be under, I want to say, $13. Um, so check out Poppy Crafts. It'll be on that link, or you can just um, do a vendor search for Poppy Crafts on our website. Uh, the die prices are well um, under 50% off other um, companies out there. We also have some stamp sets. So these two stamp sets, uh, $7.99 retail value for each of those. And we have other ones on our website, just a little selection to show you what kind of stamp sets we have we are gonna be offering an additional 25% off the stamps and the dies that we have with Poppy Crafts. Um, so that just makes it an even a better value. Um, 
some are limited supply. So once we run out of those, they will be out. But um, just take a look at these on the website and the stamps. So uh, these are $7.99. We do have a few of them that are $9.99. So not much more, but 25% off these stamps and the dies. So make sure to check that out. And for our Black Friday special that we did, um, our Sizzix promotion of 25% off dies and accessories was a hit. Uh, so we're going to be doing that again right before Christmas. Um, so all Sizzix dies and accessories, you're going to be getting 25% off those. Um, so no discount code needed. It's just going to be right in the shopping cart and or you just add what you want in the shopping cart and that is going to automatically give you that discount. So just um, take a look at that and hopefully you need some Sizzix stuff and you can save some money. So uh, let's see here. What else are we going over? The Travel Glass Media Map. We, we still have a lot of stock on those. Um, went through a ton of them for Black Friday, but we're still gonna, we're gonna bring back that 1949 price on the uh, Travel Glass Media Map. Uh, it's just the little one, it comes with a little, um, little carry pouch. Um, so that'll be on that link as well. I forgot to bring one here to um, show you on the video, but you know what the Glass Media Map looks like, it's just the smaller one. And then the Tonic Craft. Table, tighties, and the um, octagon one. So the octagon retails for $38, and uh, we are doing this for $29. Um, and that is the newer one that was out there. And the main caddy here, $35, and we're discounting that to $27. Um, so take a look at those if you're in need of those. Um, Pretty good value on the tonic items right there. And also, if you've been to the shows, you have seen the little tipsy um, alcohol markers. So these are going to be just a double point. You're going to have a, a chisel on one end and just a bullet point on the other end. Um, alcohol markers are extremely expensive. Um, I wish we could sell them for what Copic gets, but we, we just don't. Um, 99 cents while supplies last on these. Um, so many different colors. I want to say around 80 different colors that we have. Um, we're, you know, just trying to, you know, get these in people's hands. And at 99 cents, I think that should do it. Um, excellent markers. And if you're just doing basic stamp coloring, um, take a look at those. And, um, oh yeah, cute little thing here, my daughter figured out, um, this little, for 10 bucks, that little storage case, will hold all your little tipsy markers. So, um, we'll actually, we'll, I'll put that on the link as well, and uh, great way to store your product. So, I think we're, I'm told that we're getting close to needing to wrap it up, so, Deck of large torn trimmer. Make sure to check that out and check out craftonlineusa.com. Thanks for joining us. And don't forget to get your free glitter misters. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Greetings crafters, it's Julie Creek from Creek Bank Creations. Happy to be with you here today for Stamp and Scrapbook's Day of Crafting. My husband Tom and I are the owners of Creek Bank Creations. We are a small family owned business located in Perrysville, Indiana. Today, I'm excited to be here to share with you a new product that we have that I invented called Shutter Sleeves and the Shutter Pull Die. These products are designed so that you can get more photos on your scrapbook pages. Isn't it always about more? 
more is better. So what we have is the shutter system that sits on a scrapbook page, or you can put it in a mini album. It's going to take up about a space of six and a half by six and a half. You pull on the tab and the photos flip open. I'm going to show you how to make this layout today. Now, all of the layouts that I'm sharing with you today are made with the photo play collection known for the holidays and all four layouts use the same collection. Now we do have that collection on our website and when you buy the Gnome for the Holidays collection you are going to get the color photos and the sketches so that you can make the layouts. The snow layout is also made from that same collection and I want to show you here how we took the mechanism and instead of adding the fifth photo, we added a journaling box. So there is some flexibility that you can have with it. The snow layout is completed by using our um, outline letter alphabet dies and accenting with our Pierce Snowflake die. So I am going to show you how to make this layout today and teach you how to use the shutter pull. I'm gonna turn the camera down and we'll get started. All right, we've got our layout here. Now I've already put the whole base of our layout together. And what we need to do is add the shutter pull mechanism. We're going to add it over here on the right side. And I have cut the paper into an 11.75 inch circle. Now, when we add the mechanism, what you're going to find in that die package are two dies the basic rectangle shape, which is the double slit die mechanism, and then the pull tab. We're gonna start with this rectangle piece. You wanna locate a piece of cardstock, scrap, and put the die in the middle and die cut it. What you're going to find is that when you die cut this, it's gonna cut the double slits for you, and then it's gonna cut, or it's gonna score for you, three X's, and a score line that anytime you see X's, that is where tape goes. And this line is an alignment feature. So you can run your pencil over it so that you can see it better. Now we're going to actually put this over here on the side. One of the important things that you need to know about this mechanism is that when you put it on a page, it needs to sit two inches away from the outside edge. So we want this device sitting two inches away if we're doing it on the side and two inches away if we're doing it from the bottom down here. If we're too close to the bottom, the tab will protrude out of our project and we don't want that. So we need two inches. Now, this is a piece of orange paper I store with my die. It's to remind me I need to be two inches away from the outside edge. Now, in this case, I'm going to center my project on this large circle. So I'm just going to line up the edge of this three by five piece with the edge of my circle. And that means I'm farther than two inches away. So I don't need to use the jig, but I do keep it and use it often. Now I'm going to set this in place. What I've done on the back is put tape all around the outside edge. When I adhere this to my project, I want to take note of where those X's are. The X's need to be on the side that the photos are flipping. So since my photos are flipping over here on this side, I need the X's on this side. I'm going to show you that close up. X's are over here because photos are over here and we're going to adhere that to the page. And now we're going to prepare the pull tab mechanism. You're going to want to find the pull tab die and you want to cut two pieces with the pull tab die. You're going to cut these on 110 pound heavy cardstock and I have cut one with my super tacky tape on the back to help give it strength. You do not have to use the super tacky tape, but it certainly helps. Now the other one, we're going, we're going to adhere these two together. So we're gonna turn this over and I'm going to mark this so that you can see the markings on this when you die cut it. 
So I've gone over the score marks so that you can see them. And that's just so you can get a really good look at them. Now, what we're going to do in this case is take this, the one with the super tacky tape, which is this one for me. And I'm going to draw a line right here and we're going to cut right below that score line. Take your scissors and trim. Now, it's not necessary for you to draw the score, the line. I'm just showing you how I, so you can see it. Now we have two pieces. We have the tab and the top part. The top part we're going to throw away. And we are going to adhere this piece with the super tacky tape on the back to the other piece so that we can strengthen the mechanism. Just like that. There we go. Now, we are going, let me mark those again so you can see those lines. We are going to train the folds and this is ready for our scrapbook project. Any further, we need to put our page in our page protector because this mechanism is actually going to have those photos sitting on top of the page. So I'm going to slide my page into the page protector and then I need to get a pencil, a doll pencil or an embossing stylus and I'm going to trace the page protector where those double slit die marks are. We're gonna go over both of them and that's going to dent the page protector. We're going to put a cutting mat inside the page protector and you can see the lines that are put in the page protector. We're going to take our craft knife and we are going to cut that right on that line that's been dented in the page protector. You could also go over this with a dry erase marker. If you have vision problems, the dry erase will definitely get you a better visual field so that you know where to cut. We're gonna pop that out on both sides. Once we have it cut, we're gonna remove that cutting mat slide the layout right back into the page protector and we're going to find that those slits align up with the double slit die that's on the base page perfectly now where we have those x's we want to put a piece of super tacky tape right on top of those x's so we are going to lay our tape right on top of that line And that will be where we attach the mechanism. We're gonna take our pull tab mechanism that we prepared earlier. We're gonna put the score side down. We're going to run it through the page protector so that it comes out one slit, out goes through one slit and out the other. We will take and remove our tape from our taped area. And then we are going to take the end of the pull tab and we're going to fold it right into the piece of tape, uh, right into the tape and on that pencil line that we drew earlier as a guide and push it down. Now, to set up our pull tab, we're gonna set that up so that we have two rows of X's showing one row and two rows. And then we are going to take our tape and we're gonna put tape right on top of those X's and cover up the X's. Anytime we have X's, we're covering them with tape. There we go, that's prepared. So what we have are our photos. In this case, I don't have photos, but I have the photo mats and you'll need to make a photo mat. 6.25 by 4.25 and you'll need five if you're going to add five photos and for each one of these you're going to put one photo in one sleeve slide it in there turn it over and you're going to fold the back down and give yourself a really good crease and you can put a bone folder on that if you want to get a really good crease and then pull that tape protector off and seal that shut. And we need to do this with all five photos. 
Once I have my photos all in the sleeves and I need to look at my photos and I need to decide what photo do I want to have on the top. This is going to be my top and then this is going to be on the inside. This will be my second set. This will be on the other side. So you kind of have to think about which way we want them to go. And then what we're going to do is make two sets. So you're going to take two of these and put them back to back. We're going to do that by taking one and putting tape all the way around the outside edge. And then I like to put a strip down the middle. We're going to remove the tape liner. Then we will take our second photo and set that right on top of the first one. And that will make a set for us and we need two sets. Now we are ready to adhere our photos to the actual pull mechanism. Now we are going to put the second set of photos on first. So we're gonna go into that second row where the X's are. We're gonna remove the tape liner and we are going to adhere that right onto the tape. So I'm gonna pull this up closer so you can see. We're gonna set that right on top. We're going to center it top to bottom, push that photo right down into the tape. Now this will be our top photo that shows. We're gonna take our tape liner, remove the tape liner, and add that top photo. And we have just made our shutter pull mechanism. The problem is we have this ugliness showing. So I'm gonna take a pencil, I'm just gonna draw a pencil line so you can see it. We're gonna add a piece of tape right there. Now you don't need to draw the pencil line, I just put it on there so you can see it. We're gonna remove the tape, and then I like to shut this, slide that photo in there, and kind of adjust where I want to put it, how deep I want to put it, and then push everything down. We do have the pull tab word stamp if you add, wanted to add the word pull there to the side of your mechanism. And we just created the shutter pull mechanism for our scrapbook page. I do have another layout I want to share with you. This is a nice uh, fall slash Thanksgiving layout. And I have cut the border with our Rolling Hills Edge die, which is actually a 12 inch border die. And we have the gnome die in our collection, gnome die. So he's really cool because you can decorate him for different seasons. And then I have the flip mechanism way over here on the side and we flip. So just showing you more creative ways to use the shutter pull. Now, for the mini album, this is an eight by eight mini album, and you really do need that size. We're gonna open it up. We have a belly band over here, and here's the great thing about the shutter sleeves. You can use the shutter sleeves for your photos when you put them in mini albums to protect them right inside the belly band. Flip this over here, and we have a pocket here, and we have our four by six photos in the photo sleeves, all nicely protected. This is our opening page, and we are going to add the shutter pull mechanism here. So I have already cut the double slit die on cardstock, and I have adhered that in. You can barely see it because I have it matching the paper pattern. Now here's my um, score line that I marked with a pencil and I do have my super tacky tape already ready to go. The pull mechanism I have already created and we know that's going to slide in through the two tabs. We're going to take the end and line it up with the pencil line. What you need to know about the mini album is when you make the mini album, if you do not add a second piece of paper here, when the photos flip, they will catch on the outside edge of that cardstock. Pull this up closer so you can see. So when you adhere that second piece of paper in, 
the edge of the paper needs to sit right on the edge of that die line to secure everything in. So I'm going to adhere this, placing that edge right inside that die line, put my pattern paper there, and that's going to give me, first of all, a nice little pop of color. Second of all, it's going to clear the mechanism so the mechanism doesn't hang up. I'm gonna slide my pull tab in, remove the tape liner, and I'm gonna fold that top over and right into the pencil line, just like we did on the scrapbook page. It's gonna line up right there. Try to hold it up so you can see it. Push that down. Now we have the two tape marks here the X's, anytime you have X's from the die, those are score marks, and we know tape goes on top of them. So two lines right there. Now I have already prepared my photos, and I'm just going to put the second one in first, just like we did on the other layout. My top one in next, this is the one that's on the top. And just like we did in the scrapbook project, we're gonna open this up and put a piece of tape right on the inside, right across there. And then we will be able to slide in that fifth photo very carefully right in the back. Push that down, everything's adhered. And we just put five photos in an eight by eight mini album and they are full-size photos. Some special tips for you to go along with our project. And now I'm going to tell you about the specials. Let's talk specials, shall we? We do have a coupon code that we're using on the website now. It's called TRAIN. When you use the coupon code TRAIN, you'll be able to get 15% off the things that you order. Now that coupon code excludes the Vagabond, the Caterpillar products, the clearance and the Black Friday specials. Orders over $50 ship free. When you buy the paper collection, we are going to include for you the um, six page sketch idea sheet that has different layouts for you designed for use with the shutter pull dot. Now we do have a bundle special. Anytime we have a bundle special, it means that special, that product is 30% off and there's always a video attached to it. Now, we do have the Shutter Pull Bundle Special on our website, and we do have our own video attached with it. So you can actually go to our website and watch our own YouTube um, on one of the other layouts that I've produced and learn about the Shutter Pull. And when you bundle it like this, you're going to save 30%. The bundle is the die, two packages of shutter sleeves, the shutter sleeves, there are 25 shutter sleeves in a package, and they are heavyweight sleeves. Now, we're also including in the bundle special the PDF download of instructions, and I know some of you really like the printed instructions, so this is several pages of printed instructions. The normal price for this collection would be $38.96. When you buy it as a bundle special, that drops the price to $27.99. So that's a really awesome deal. We so appreciate you coming and spending time with us today. We will be shooting YouTube Live on Tuesday nights. You can find us on YouTube. We make all kinds of projects. You can find our products on our website, www.creekbankcreations.com. Welcome back, everybody. It's Expo Dave and Miss Vicki Vo here, and over here at the side Hi. is Mr. Scrappy Boy Sean. So, um, gosh, pretty 
pink posh Vicky. Oh I know. God. Their holiday their holiday sign stamp set. I love that because it includes it had where you can stamp and you can add your own little special sentiment or yeah, thing. Yeah, that and wood sign. Yes. And then I liked uh, once again, I liked because also the sentiments that went with that set um, fit into where that sign is, too. Exactly. So once again, you're not having to try to figure out what to use. Um, so I love that set that she used, and then the other one was the Joy stamp set that she had, and um, love that. Um, I love, she did some really great um, coloring techniques and we were talking about or Sean was talking about that the flipping technique is one that you mm -hmm. really have to keep practicing on I her think. Her flicking, yeah. 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 I've been doing it for years and I still can't get the flicks like hers. They she were was beautiful. Just, yeah. flicks. <laughs> now one thing I love this because um, I learned a new thing today. I had no idea that you could run a regular stencil through a um, um, a die cut machine for embossing. I had know that not was a clue. Mind blown. Amazing. Yes. So I am going to go home and try that today for sure. So I love it when, gosh, we learn new things all the time. I and do too. and that's what's nice because everybody, you know, try you know, it's all done by trial and error, I'm sure, with right. all these different things. So I love how beautiful and I mean pretty pink posh. I see them I've been following them on Instagram for so long. The The cards are just beautiful. Those of you that love like that, you know, because we've seen real beautiful, ornate, and gorgeous, but I also love the simple, like with the white background and that snowflake stencil that she yeah. used to embody. I love that clean, really beautiful with the alternative um, Christmas colors, like the pastel colors with the white. Mm -hmm. I just think... It's gorgeous. I love her stamps. They are amazing. I mean, beautiful. So you're going to want to visit the website with all the cute, really cute, fun. I, you know, it, it kind of gives me that, like, you know how I love the kawaii? Yeah. Oh, it yeah. has that feel about it. It's so cute. I love this holiday sign stamp set as well, Dave. Yeah. So cute. Oh, my goodness. I And then when she just added the jewels, too, it was just like, Perfect, perfect, yeah, yeah. beautiful. Yeah, that it seems like you know that bling just adds that extra. It does. And it just makes everything else stand out, doesn't right. it? Right. So. It doesn't have to be like this, like big old, you know. And then yeah. to to put that gift card holder right in it, how yeah, fun and pretty and clean lines. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. The layer, the layered look on that on the outside. Yeah, so, so smart and beautiful. Um, oh my goodness, you guys, you're going to want to definitely go head on over to Pretty Pink Posh. I love that so name. So cute. I know. I, it's, <laughs> it's like so a... Hard, it's to, hard to say it three times <laughs> yeah, fast, exactly. but will you remember it? Pretty Pink Posh. Pretty Pink Posh. <laughs> Follow them on all the social media. It's just gorgeous ideas, stamps. Visit the website. Do some shopping. Ask for Christmas. 15% off your entire order using the coupon code... Uh, shop save 15 or shop home 15 okay and that is applicable on in stock items only using coupon code uh, shop home 15 and it will expire on December 26 so go I can't wait run. to color her stamps her stamps yeah. are meant for coloring yeah. they're oh. meant for coloring yeah, Gorgeous. yeah exactly that's yeah exactly Sean just beautiful oh my gosh go okay, so go to pretty Pink posh. Yes. There you go. Um, and then we had uh, Craft Online USA and the Glitter Mister, um, you know, and using the uh, the Shimmer Powder and the Glimmer Misters. And it was amazing how, depending on which you used, you know, which you use first, if you use the the uh, the water um, or the shimmer, uh, the shimmer powder, yes. you got such a different, you know, such a different look. And it's amazing how using the the same two things, I know, um, just totally different. totally different look. You After know, one was more yeah. of a of a like a soft water color, yeah. and the other was more of a bold. Exactly, sure, so. I love I love that. Oh my goodness, what I because I love to spray a background on my cards and my scrapbook yeah. layout. So I thought, oh my god. 
this is a must have. <laughs> yeah. Must have. Yeah, because you're always, cause, yeah, because you were always doing the um, your backgrounds with your uh, right. the stamps and the right. um, what do they call those? The the blending brushes. Blending, I yeah. uh, yes, blending brushes. <laughs> also, life changing blending brushes. Yes. <laughs> also, the rules of adhesives. Oh my goodness, what great prices! Yes, right? that is. You know, and it doesn't matter what kind of a package those things come in because that's a great deal that means you're going to do a lot more projects and you're going to use it up and get some more exactly so. and you know and it's nice because you know the tear tape because some people just like to do the tear you know yeah. the tear tape and I like to use um, I'm hooked on the red line tape right and they were you know both great deals on that and that new trimmer the Tim Holtz tear trimmer oh I know that you know, yes, yes that I think that's going to be one of those uh, must that's going to we're going to see a lot of those I think next I year think at so the crop too. so um, and great and they just got them in so you want to uh, get with them on that and um, how about those little tipsies alcohol markers yes for 99 cents a marker that I'm always game for new markers and yeah. how affordable and you know just so much fun I I think that's totally yeah. rad too and that would be a that I think those would be a great alcohol marker if you're just starting, starting to color off, yep. because then you can see and boy you can get a ton of colors and you want to get that storage I mean you have the the great price on the pens the great price on the storage and you'll be on your way coloring. Exactly. So also the poppy craft dies and stamps that looks so yes. fun. Yep. And he had the ink applicators. Um, he had a great special on those as well. So right. a lot of great deals. So um, get a hold of Chad over there at Craft Online USA and exactly. get all those great products. And gosh, he had all those were such great deals that he had. They were so. 25% uh, off Sizzix dies and accessories. That's great. 25% off all Poppy Craft dies and accessories. And then free glitter misters, which I want. <laughs> Buy three or more <laughs> Solu Ultra Fine Glitters and get three or more free glitter inserts. So if you buy a glitter, you're going to get that glitter mister. Which yeah. He said just use it for that one color. And then you don't Done. have to worry. You I know, love you it. You have it all right there, and you exactly. don't have to worry about using it all or cleaning it. You know, because that that could be just a exactly. mess. Exactly. So. so that will expire on December fifteenth. So that's awesome. Yes. So so thank you, um, Mr. Chad from Craft uh, Craft Online USA. So, and next we had Miss Julie. I've known Julie for years and years, and love her. Um, great family business, and gosh, she created that shutter pull die I mean you talk about flip 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 wanting that I mean um, that is just a, an awesome uh, awesome project I know that, uh, we're all product. over here <laughs> going what that's gonna revolutionize our scrapbook layout our mini albums even a card you could even do like a, yeah. a great big card using oh, yeah. that I mean oh my goodness how innovative yeah. and like necessary another must have you know that yeah, and getting and getting what I liked about it too is you you can get one you can get five photos with that shutter shutter die on one page in a mini album exactly so, you know oh my goodness I may have already ordered that <laughs> <laughs> and then shutter sleeves to protect them you know for years and years yeah. and years of keeping that that memory in your memory albums Oh my goodness! The, visit the website. There's this beautiful yes, it, the other dies. I was looking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you know too, um, uh, and you'll talk about her special here in just a moment. But you know what's nice is she'll have a tutorial. Um, you know when you when you get the bundles, and um, she did. I thought a great job in demonstrating. Uh, that uh, the die too. So when what's nice is you'll be able to go back and watch that again. You know. So exactly. So thank you, Miss uh, Julie, and uh, we hope to see you soon. So. Somebody just wrote on on the so many great companies and their presentations were so helpful. Any chance some of today's vendors can be included in a future Mega Make and Take? Ah, That's good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. Make I love it that. Yeah. yeah. Vendors, listen to what our your customers are asking. Yes. They want to be in that mega so they can get your hand, you know, your your product in their hands to play with. So email Sean. Email, email Sean. Sean. Sean and he'll get to the Sean info, at so. scrapbookexpo.com. It's a great opportunity, yeah. right? Yeah, and you know, and, and we do, you know, just so everybody knows, we invite everybody to participate yes. in 
our you know our megas and all of our events um, so so if you do have ideas certainly you know email us and you know info at scrapbook expo and that's a great way because if you guys are asking we can say hey we have yeah. Sally Smith from over here that wants to see you so exactly more and, and if more, so. people want to play with that you know with your product and learn more about it they're more apt to like look at the website and it's like a big old thing you know exactly like, so it's a great opportunity yes. I think for vendor and customer to yeah. learn yeah and and with the at home mega make and takes is that you know uh, you may be a company that's local and and um, just mm -hmm. speaking of, of Creek Bank I know they do a lot of local shows so this would be a great way for them to get exposure all over the country just like our exactly. shows do today so exactly so, so let me go ahead and give you Creek Bank Creations awesome uh, show special, which is 15% off when you use the coupon code TRAIN, valid until uh, December 31st. There we go. That's <laughs> almost then, the end of the year. Yes, and oh. then 30% <laughs> off all bundle, bundle specials while supplies last. Okay? Coupon code does not apply to Sizzix, Caterpillar, Clearance, or Bundle Specials. Free freight on orders over fifty dollars. Wow. So there you go. Woohoo! That's that's amazing. You can get a cup. You can get a couple of those uh, dies for gifts, and you'll get free shipping. And there you go. Right. So and one more time, Dave. I know. Look, everybody. If you if you oh tuned in late, hot off the press, off the, the new press. car smell. Look at these. <laughs> these really. are aprons. Mine smells and like flowers. Though. We look at the shirts. Yes. Shirts. Look at this, everybody. New. This is literally, we we literally they were just in. delivered to us. During our, just yeah. So our first segment. They are. Watch your newsletter. All about all about when it goes on sale. The colors, the sizes, the styles will be up soon. I think yes. they said within forty eight hours. Forty eight so. hours. Um. That uh. They that you will be pr be able to purchase those, and that'll be at the shop at home events dot com mm -hmm. and for those of you who have already signed up for our newsletter on uh, you'll you'll be getting an email yep. on that as well and if you haven't re um, if you aren't receiving our uh, newsletter, our weekly newsletter with all of our events and all of our goings on gosh it's supposed to be our new shirts and everything you'll want to go to craft at home events.com and simply sign up for our newsletter and you'll get the scoop too like yes. everybody else so um, and uh, you know we'll have shirts on there and I know that we're going to be adding all kinds of different uh, shirts you and know color I and am hoping logos. I'm hoping that uh, I'd love to see a Dave's Diva shirt soon. Oh. Ah, you know what? So, so uh, as long but as no. Put the blow up. <laughs> <laughs> but we do. We have these are great shirts, good quality. So, um, so Very check soft. that out. So, but you know, gosh, Vicky, it's been fun. It sure has. And we hope that you have enjoyed and have been able to do um, some more holiday shopping uh, today. So go out and you know. Uh, support the vendors from today's event and we will see everybody at our next at home event here at Stamp and Scrapbook Expo. Have a great Saturday. We love you. Bye everybody. We love you guys. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. <laughs>